And so just something little, you know, um, might be that you say a prayer for everyone you kill, or just something little that you, other people may not have noticed. Um, oh, so don't, there's some more chicken in the fridge if you want some. Come. Um, but have a little think on that. But before that, we're going to catch up with Merida. Mm-hmm. Um, now, Rose, way back when, do you remember Alexander Douglas, this guy? Head of the red hair, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. scar on one side of his face, mm-hmm. glass eye. Um, you wanted to chat with him about some stuff before you left. Okay. You did. Yeah, you did. If cool. you don't remember what that is, I really that's don't. Fine. That's cool. I have no clue what's going on here whatsoever. That's fine. You're going to be dropped into a situation anyway. Um, I will try and remember him if I can. Oh, no, no. It's it's fine. We don't need to. We don't need to. Run. But, uh, Rose, you have a chat with him about the witches and that sort of thing. Yeah. If you have questions and you think of the session, you can yep. retroactively, you can ask them like the answer would be. But you have an answer to that. He uh, lets you know if you can capture the rest of the party if you like. Mm-hmm. Um, cast a teleport spell on you very slowly. Um, a bright flash of red and then suddenly making a uh, will save for this. So I've got a reflex, actually. So now that hurt that's all right. This swallowed you, not burning, pleasant, warm, heat, almost like a warm bath after a hard day. There's a bright flash of orange and red as you reflex? smell uh, reflex. Uh, 23. Awesome. Um, burning around you. Uh, you feel this spinning in your head, this kind of lurch in your stomach, and then you feel, uh, and then suddenly everything goes black. You feel disoriented. Uh, you don't take any damage, but you're at an odd angle. Um, there's something like all around you. It might be like, at first it's almost like gravel or rocks or something, but it's, it's not mm-hmm. quite the right texture. Yep. It's pitch black. Uh, you try to move and you can't. Okay. Um, I'm going to try So it's pitch black. I can't mm-hmm. see anything. Can I hear anything? You listen out. You do hear a little something. Give me a perception check so you can put together what it is exactly. You, you kind of, like, initially you can't, you can make some checks to try to. Mm. But, uh, 22. 22. You're sitting there, you're listening. Don't hear anything. And then, there's something falling a short distance and landing in the wood. Can I kind of gauge what direction it was in? Yeah, it seems to be coming from probably like coming uh, east way is probably about oh, 40 feet away, but it's a bit muffled. And then the footsteps on wood, the sound of the door opening. <laughs> door latches. Um, and here, a gruff voice sounds like probably a uh, kind of middle aged man, a little bit older. As you see, he says quietly, but, but uh, sorry, kind of like control, loud yeah. but not yelling. Yeah. Yeah. All right, everyone up, everyone up, it's time. Down the end, he sent lots of people moving around and must have been Do uh, you let me know if anybody knows what? Um, no, I would want to kind of stay as still and quiet as I can mm. to kind of yeah. gauge what the situation is. Yeah, give me a stealth check to the blend of words. Uh, 18. Someone. So you, you know, start seeing really still slow breathing, you shift your head ever so slightly. Whatever this is around, there's lots of things um, all in the bag, in confined space. Um, as you see, something falls on your mouth um, and tastes onions. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you hear this conversation outside of your it's, it's a little bit muffled, so there's something surrounding yeah. you um, as you hear. Um, all right, I've dealt with the investigator. That's not going to be an issue anymore. But there's still ones downstairs. We're going to move quickly, we're going to move quietly. <laughs> I'll head to the captain, you all head downstairs, alright? Oh, shit. Uh, it goes boots on, nice and quiet. I've taken care of the first mate as well, so there's an issue. You then hear the sound of unloading weapons, the large heavy weapons being picked up of some sort. So it's just Lots text Jesse going, you're dead. dead. You're dead. Still can't see anything. Pitch black. And I... As you're trying to think, you realise you're actually upside down, uh, kind of stuck half thing, there's something really solid in your foot, 
You can try to move around a bit if you like. Yeah, can I move around to tell if I'm not going to pop the soil? You start moving, just kind of like feeling about yeah. circular, full of onions. You think you're in a supply barrel. I've been there. smuggled into a barrel of onions. Fantastic. <laughs> you want to keep? You, you can try to get. Oh, you have lots of hair as well. Oh, it's gonna take a lot of washing in this medieval world. People are getting ready. They're picking up stuff. Uh, you hear the door open again. You hear very quietly. People start to head out of this room. It gets quieter and quieter. And then it's silent. One whole silent. Mm-hmm. And There's an athletics check. You are upside down, surrounded by, and we're not talking like, you know, yeah. 10 onions. This is a, a ship's supply boat, so yeah. about hundreds and hundreds of onions. <laughs> um, athletics? Uh, athletics. Yeah. Do you need to miss that? Uh, 18. 18. Um, you mm. start moving around. You hear, as you do, onions up the top falling on the ground. Poof, 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 uh, as you're able to get a foot out and feel the air kind of against it. Uh, you wiggle a little and the barrel. Poof, Falls over, but it's full of onions, so it's cushioned a little bit as you worm your way outwards. Onions spilling everywhere, and a little bit of light, only the light of the night coming in the windows of this ship's cabin. Hammocks everywhere, it all seem empty. Uh, as you are out, a bit stiff, you reek of onions, but you are out, you're free. Uh, you can see. You are in. Well, I should turn that on. This room here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hammocks okay. all around you. Uh, a couple of small windows. You can see a door ajar just here. Yep. Um, we're going to come back to you in a moment. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, let's do real quick hero point questions. Mm. What's in the list? Put in character hats. Who'd like to make mm-hmm. friends? You can't swim. Can't swim. <coughs> That's not going to come back to life. <laughs> mm. Could you pass that back to this one? Oops, sorry. Well, to some little secrets. Behind. Somehow I'm bravely saying I'm an experienced seafarer. I love yeah. it. It's, I'm, I'm looking forward to see if you continue to maintain that ruse while you're drowning. Mm. Don't worry, I'll get myself out of the thing. Who <laughs> mm. much. Um, Mordred's little secret is that every night when everyone goes to sleep, he slips a little coin from his coin purse into everyone else's. Oh, well, thank you. To be fair, Mordred, we've discussed that's not, this. That's not too so much of a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've discussed this, Mordred. That's why it's only a little secret. <laughs> mm. um, I may have tried to redistribute a lot of money recently and upset the boat, but... Um... Uh, Drizella mm. is afraid of the dark. And that's why she drinks so much coffee, is because actually she doesn't sleep very well. That's really, um, I really like that. Because it's the, the tension between having to turn the lights on mm. and everybody knowing, or just not sleeping very well. Mm. Anything for Merida? Yeah, for sure. Uh, while it's Merida was so thinking. Where are we staying on the ship for the rest of this? My yeah. thoughts were down in the galley. Yeah. Uh, down the table's eating area there would be. I was helping with navigation, so... Oh, Meredith's twice on this map. Helping with that? Probably not. Maybe this because you're not going to Okay. Oh, that's um, right. Yeah, so other free spaces would be the library, but otherwise it's kind of just other people's cabins, which are a bit small. Yeah. I think um, Meredith's on the map twice. Or in the kitchen. I know it is on the map twice. I'm sure it's doing wonderful things to me. Okay. Recording no, 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 no. It was where's Merida? She's she's duplicated. <laughs> duplicated at once. Which is not actually that out of the ordinary. Uh, I would be in the um, like the the medical room where I found the the sheath for the dagger. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, there's all those. The yeah, in the library. And. Really then, and there's all those books. Yeah, for sure. Um, so That's right. we're in a lockdown sort of thing, aren't we? Yeah. So yeah, um, we're in. Co- yeah. yeah it's... So quick recap: You've been aboard the Hispaniola. Um, uh, a stowaway was found stabbed. Treasure and, Island. And their dying words were, "Beware the one-legged fiend." Mm. Um, the only character with one <gasps> leg that you knew of was an elf locked in a cage. Uh, everyone swore they could not. You went on a long investigation Ooh. of all the tokens. 
<laughs> it's not a conspiracy. <laughs> it's actually it's the, the keeper of the cage. <laughs> yeah. He went on a long investigation uh, trying to solve clues. There was <clears throat> passports, there was papers, there was daggers from old... There was treasure maps. There was treasure maps, all sorts of good stuff. Um, but uh, in the end, it turned out the bosun, Job Anderson, uh, came down and this will be the last thing you'll remember. Mm. Asked us to show Bigby something up deck, oh. and then Bigby has not returned. Yeah. And so you've overheard that we've dealt with the investigator bit. We don't know that. Yeah. Um, so you're upstairs. We're downstairs at the minute. And we're we're locked down. You know, there's a curfew. Yeah. So Bigby set up a curfew to catch the person coming out. Of that. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it more or less worked. Mm. Not so well for Bigby, but we'll get to that next session. Oh no. Uh, oh no. So, Merida. Merida's secret uh, has been kept from just most of her family, is it? Other than the mothers that she's practicing witchcraft, or she's trying mm. to learn the witchcraft. Mm. The father knows that she has something to do with the mother transforming, but mm. doesn't exactly know how. It's a little bit bigger than a small secret, but I can't think of anything small. That's not. Uh, so, mm, uh, Sibylla, are you in the library with everyone else? Yes. Can you just describe who else is in the library with us? Yeah, so it's it's uh, Drizella and Mordred. And then Bigby oh. has been standing there for And he's gone up there. Oh, not other P- NPCs in there or anything like that? No other no. NPCs. They're all in their rooms. They're under lockdown. It's about 3.30 in the morning, right in the wee hours. Dawn is probably you know, an hour and a half. And, and dawn is our deadline, isn't it? Uh, pretty much, yes. Is so, someone going to get the chop? Absolutely. So, uh, the, oh my god, that's right, yeah. Um, so <laughs> the captain has said that he's just going to blame the murder on the elf in the cage if yeah. no one else can be found by doing it. I listened to the elf who has been rambling mm-hmm. incessantly. Which is um, above is below or something like that? As above. So, so below, as above. So below. And, um, but if you listened long enough, there were other words in there. The other words being oh. obsidian, raven, yeah. mask, silver, mirror, rejuvenate, barnacle, prescience, cattle. Mm. <laughs> Which I have theories about, but... Of course. Yeah. Can you post that in the group chat? The thing? The yeah, that says words. Or the link to the... So yeah, Bigby has gone to go upstairs. It's been about... Probably only about five minutes. Like, probably only like... Maybe even less. It's been less than five minutes since Bigby's gone. I don't think you have any reason to be suspicious at this point. No. Um, we will give you a chance to do all that in a moment. Uh, but Merida, we're actually going to start on you. Okay. Um, this door is, it's its not like closed, closed, but it's, you know, there's a little slither of light coming through it. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um. So there's a lot of like, there's some chest of drawers around you, that sort of thing, uh, probably like the barrels and that sort of stuff. Obviously a lot of onions. Um, did I hear them go up, upstairs or downstairs? You would have heard, did I just you would have heard them all out the door, and then that would have been all you've heard. You would have noticed they got ready and then they started looking very quietly. Okay. You would imagine there's a little bit of practice with sleeping. Yeah. Um, could I try and knock the door from a little bit more to help yeah. to peek out? Do you need perception? Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, that should do it. Uh, in fact, they aren't hiding from you. So that mm-hmm. um, you crack the garden and you see. Uh, I'll explain the mechanics of this in a moment. You yep. see a crowd of about sixteen sailors, um, all gathered together. Uh, and in amongst them, you see uh, another man, also a sailor, in this kind of ill-fitting suit. This middle-aged eel of a man. This kind of uh, uneven mutton chops uh, as he tries to open the door across the other side. Uh, you also see, as you right there, confirming what you thought, you're indeed on a ship. Yeah. Uh, big mast across there, you can see some stairs, stairs here, so this is all on the same level as you, mm-hmm. and then these stairs lead up to this platform mm-hmm. where you would see uh, a helmsman holding the door. Okay. Give a check real quick to see if you may notice anything. Do you want to stealth roll? Uh, you can give us a stealth roll if you're trying to hide it. At the moment, yeah. all you've done is crack open the door. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all I've done. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll say for the moment you're fine. Alright. 
up. What are these guys kind of wearing? Are they all wearing the same uniform? It looks or... like they've got an undershirt on that all matches, a blue vest that all matches, but then they've donned armor of various kinds of leather. There's a little bit of like daggers on there, pistols, uh, cutlasses, yeah. uh, you know, like tomahawks, axes. They look very well. Yeah, but the, the, the vest and the shirt's not going to aid me, because I can't see if I can try and blend in with them potentially, but not You can have a look around your room. Yeah, room can I have a look around the room to see? Yeah, for sure. I won't even make you roll this as their dormitory. You find another spare uniform in that bookcase. Awesome. Can I don one of those uniforms? You chuck on white shirt, blue vest, you can see a few extra. They won't give you any benefit, but it's a couple of scraps of armor yeah. and that sort of thing. Perfect. And so you chuck your regular And then cup. can I try and, like, Kind of sneaking, yeah, there's a group of there's so 16 of them where that Yeah, so, so I kind of don't want them to together. notice that I'm coming out yeah. of the door. Give us a, uh, you can do s- uh, stealth or you can do deception, whichever one you want. Twenty two. Twenty two. You walk on over. Um, you aren't noticed immediately, but you realize they're all, as you get in, you realize they're all very short of each other, looking at everything, tapping and chatting and whispering. Uh, you don't have a long view before this one. Mm-hmm. Probably only like one turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you get, you see that the bosun uh, jiggles the handle, and then you know, shh, 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 for everyone, pulls out a key, very quite easy. The door doesn't. See, they turn their key again, <coughs> the door doesn't open. You see, they get a scowl on their face, they try one time, and they go, shh, shh. Uh, so the as I'm seeing them mm-hmm. kind of failing, can I actually try and go back to the stairs that lead to the downstairs? Yeah, yeah, absolutely you can. I need another stealth check as we move about. Um, 17? 17. Uh, you see, you see that you head off um, as you then see the captain looking first at the front turns and he says, um, "All right, quietly split up, get the battering ram. We'll knock it down instead." Uh, as you see, then everyone breaks and we're able to hide in the couple of people down there. Well, yeah. And hide this token in because they're not all together. Yeah. You see, sixteen sailors. Some are going down the stairs as well. Some are going up to the top. Some are just milling about. Um, where are you heading? Cool. I want to go down the stairs because I'm going to assume that me being on this boat means I'm close to my friends. That's why they said they were sending you. Exactly. So um, I would be going downstairs and I would be trying to slip into a room mm-hmm. to kind of stay downstairs yeah. as they all do their thing and then go back upstairs. Cool. And I would try and find my friend. You head downstairs and for the sake of I'm not evil, I'm going to say that. Uh, Sibylla, you are standing at the door keeping an eye on the hallway, and see Merida come down the top of the stairs. Really, how are you? Uh, I guess I uh, see that, and I'll immediately go to the... It's been a while since I've seen you. Make, make sure that nobody's following me or seeing uh, there's me. There's definitely other people coming down the stairs, those pirates are going all over the place. Yeah, cool. That doesn't look like news. Okay, well, I would just try and slip into the room, put, and close the door, and then I'll quietly tell them. Mm-hmm. What I've seen slash heard. Yeah, for sure. You need all that information? Mm. Who, who did you say was Louis? Oh. You didn't catch a name, but you can describe the I person. didn't catch a name, but then I would yeah, describe it. I was looking at the description, which is Joe the Handsome Person. Mm. Well, we know, know all about that Scotty one. Who you would have seen about five minutes ago or so come down. Did, did you see Bigby? They said they took care of the investigator and the <sighs> second the first, first. first mate. Oh, I take my saw out and start mm. sharpening it. Mm. Can I? Mm. Um, like this is bad. To message Bigby? Absolutely. Yeah. You can. Um, it's anyone within 120 feet, which I assume would be the, the size of the ship, right? The ship is exact. So, fun fact, the <laughs> ship it. is a <laughs> 
mechanically from uh, bow to stern, it's 120 feet. Well, yeah. As long as we be on the ship, we'll be able to see. Is that message you're doing? Spell? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got that spell too. Um, and I'll Maybe say, we should all message simultaneously, poor big thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Are you okay? Where are you? Uh, I um, what would Jesse say? Oh, fuck, help me. I'm over the... And the message then cuts out. Oh, no. And then a few moment later, moments <laughs> later, you hear a very calm, <laughs> totally what you measured, measured <laughs> wise voice, which simply says, your friend will be okay. Do you recognise that voice? Uh, Does... you, do you do history or religion? Uh, all of you do that, by the way. Oh, that's Ooh. bad. Oh no. No, no. Well, that's a bad religion. Fuck. Okay. okay. Um, that's a 10 in total. I have a plus 8. 25. Okay. Horrendous. Uh, 25. Let's see if you get it. That might be good enough. I can't find history. Apologies for my spurs. Uh, oh, so, oh, sorry. Um, history is not a story. Religion. <laughs> Oh, sorry. So 25 for religion. Uh, you can do society, sorry, is the answer. Oh, yeah, I'm good at that. 25. Um, you don't, you don't recognise this voice, but this feels distinctly religious to you. It feels distinctly um, something powerful and far away. Okay. That makes sense. This is not like a local wizard. This is not a sort of this is like when uh, you got that warning from the shadow monk back in the Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Different. But different. different. Yeah, it doesn't feel answer. like faceless. No, it doesn't feel okay. faceless soldier. But similar, like, scale. Oh. It's a drop of the dana. Oh. Oh. Um, I say that. I'm like, ooh. Okay. Is Bigby religious? Because that had, like... God, I know. I know. Um, that's how she says it. Like, big be religious because that's got distinctly Possibly. God vibes, but not my God. My God's more <laughs> kind of sounding. This one sounded a bit more well, like beneficent. I guess. Hear the voice again. Wise, old, knowledgeable. Yeah. Uh, not like my God, but not ghostful. You have not the time for this. You must act now. Burn your memory. You oh. see then all the books on all the shelves vibrate. You remember they were held in by chains. Yep. The chains uh, do not break at any point, but you see some books simply fall out of their slot. The books are cryptography. Yep. One about cryptography, one about a beginner's guide to sailing. Um, I look at where they have fall have they fallen open? Uh, they or they're just Okay, I'm going to go. I think this is a message mm -hmm. from beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, they sound wise and beneficent, and that we're meant to be in a hurry about something um, and not rescuing Bigby. Meh. Um, I carry on. I, I, I pick these books up. Yeah. Uh, you see the pages that they're sat open on, one of them is uh, On the Destruction of Maps and Lost Cryptography, is the chapter, <laughs> and the sailing one is. Uh, reads uh, uh, an apprentice's guide to the mending of the strong mast, which you know is what's broken. Oh, the masters. Yeah. Okay. Strong okay. mast is the big one. Yeah. Can I can I quickly skim the mending? Yeah, that will take you several minutes. Oh. oh. Um, I forgot who's got the map. Sibylla does in fact. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I've got lots of stuff like that. Sibylla, we need to destroy the map. Um, Sibylla, you reach into your pocket where you've been keeping the map. Uh, you go to pull it out and the spyglass out. You pull out what looks to be a brass tube. Did you use like roll your socks or something? Mm -hmm. No. Oh no. Can I take <sighs> my pockets? Just in case it ended up there. Yeah. Uh, you find a coin that you don't remember putting in there with a no <laughs> smiling on it. Uh, no. Um, do you have the map? Uh, the gnome. Oh, and that was a half thing I'm thinking of. But yeah, the one on the ship. Yeah, that's not a nine. Half. Did... Nothing happened last session when she lost the map. Nope. I would tell you. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know. You have no idea. So why is Beneficent Voice says we have to destroy the map? And I sort of... Drizella looks up and talks to the, sort of the roof and goes, 
Do you know where the map is? Oh, wise, beneficent voice. You feel nothing but an empty sea. Yeah. Mm. I don't see nothing really. It's one of the things where PC was not meant to get the map, so <laughs> we'll just destroy it. We'll be like, all right, let's go home now. Well, this is fine. <laughs> um, we'll set it on fire. Maybe Bigby had the map? I will say again, yeah. the message was, you have very little time, destroy the map. Sounded like um, two separate sentences. I'm thinking the steps the, coming down the stairs. The, the yeah, we need to get out of here. I think we're going to die. Excellent. That's very optimistic. <laughs> I think we probably need to get out of here before they get down here. Yeah. Yep. Would I, like would tell, I would have told you guys how many of them there were as well. Maybe maybe we can reason with them. Um, maybe maybe we get out of here like the wise, beneficent voice told us to. But how is, how can we get out? You is there hear anything? the voice of Officer Henry Teetle, the jailer, saying, "What the hell are you doing?" Bang! <gasps> and everybody hit the floor. Ooh, Teetle's not. Ah, uh, let's let's go. Wait, but if we go yeah. out, we're just yeah, gonna run into the hallway. You hear uh, a yeah. horrible sound that must be yeah, I my sword. grinding against itself to draw your weapon. I'll draw my weapon in. Is there any is there any way out of this room? There is oh, one, door one door that leads to a doorway. You do all, I mean you would also know that this door, like if you could get through here somehow leads to the gallery. Well, can you guys up to try is there windows at all? Uh, there is windows, yeah. We didn't Are the windows got glass in them? Yeah, like a glass thing. Thing. Okay, um, you could fit through they the know exactly who we are. We can't can I anything. grab something like I don't know, yeah, any no, we've been here a while. I don't know why you've been in the onion. This is not my strong suit, but no. mechanically, but it's good to see because we're all very that's injured. That's, that's where what's his face teleported me to. We're all very injured. Sixteen. No, oh, sorry, system. you've all had a rest as well since the pirate fight. So you can take a rest. You can all go to full health. Okay, sixteen. Sweet. Sixteen. Thank you. Um, very poor roll, but that is enough to break the porthole. So you pick up the chair. It's not impressive, but you just go <laughs> hit your leg through it. Porthole breaks, leaving a convenient. Uh, What's your thinking here as someone who can't swim? Uh, I will say, you, as you do this, you kind of, like, I don't know if you like stick your head up a little bit, but you see there's rigging all along the side of the ship. Where ah, oh. it, so you could climb. This is what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, thing my experience in sailing has so led me to believe that there's rigging yeah. all over this boat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so if one of you could be so kind as to lift me up out the window, oh, spring for help. Oh. Yeah. Giving you my shield is kind of a step for awesome. What we're going to call that is a, a help check for an acrobatics check. Let's see what we Actually, it might be acrobatics to climb. Mm, acrobatics works better for me. Uh, guidance. Mine um, is unfortunately out there. Who invented rules? Uh, um, I'm. Talk to Mr. Uh, Casting guidance. Mr. Pathfinder. Mr. Pathfinder. Guidance. guidance. Awesome. So, uh, acrobatics check to, do, to help out. Um, guidance check there. Any other characters can help you too. Can I provide an athletic help captain since I'm kind of keeping creating a. It has to be the same skill oh, okay. as the check, but it is athletics. So you get a plus good. one from guidance. Oh, of course. So athletics. Which will be a 28. 28, that's a critical success, so that's plus three in total. Anyone else want to help with athletics? I don't think I can do very much, but I'll try. Are you trying to math that yeah. Oh. No one else can get out of the hole. 17, yeah. that's another success. So you're adding four to whatever you roll. I will yeah. tell you right now the DC to climb and not So four. athletics plus four. Yeah. Plus four. whatever you've got. Yeah, yeah. Two seconds for the specific rules on this. What do you end up getting? I have a roll. Oh. <laughs> I think the DC to climb and not fall is 10. Let me just check that. That's a struggle. It's very doable. Climb, here we go. Critical failure, you fall. <laughs> and we're currently on rigging. So we're in trained DC. Trained DC is, I wish I just put these numbers in full. Uh, simple DC is trained. DC is 15. So. As long as you don't roll a five, you won't fall. You're adding plus four, so as long as you don't crit fail and you don't roll a natural one, you won't fall to the ocean. If you roll a natural one and you want to try this, you will fall to the ocean just by the way. So I have a hero point. 
Hmm. You have a hero. No! Is that a crit fail? Stop it. Have you literally just fallen out the window? Hero point, hero point, hero point! <laughs> That's an end. Would you like to give me a hero point or fall to your death? Uh, well, you just, well, it's, fall a, into water. it's a tough choice. Right. Sibylla, you go out there, you fully miss the first bit at first. You drop. But heroically, you go into for another black. There's another athletic strike. As long as it's not in that one, you'll be fine to be out of plus One in two hundred chance. Yes. Actually, in fact, even if you roll, uh, so crit yeah. fail will still be a crit fail. With hero but as long as you roll but above a two or above, you'll be fine. Oh, there you go. 19. Yes. 14 to 19. Is that including the plus 4 from everybody else? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So 19, that's a success. So you can move. <laughs> you can move up to 10 feet. So, mm. Sibylla. So we know there's enemies coming down the hallway, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and they're still... in the hallway and they're in this room. And is this... The second level, this is just below the death level. Yep. So there, there's cargo hold in the middle, this is the, lo the, the lowest level of the ship. I will say though, cargo hold is not going to be super important this time. Alright. Just because it's too much. Then, my. So you get out, you get uh, 10 feet, but it's a one from that, so it's call it 15. You get over to the next room. You get the way there's another porthole here, or you can continue along. In fact, through the porthole, would you like to try to see if you can tell what's going on? I'll have a look. Yeah, give us a perception check. And I'm going to say we're in loose terms. So if anyone else wants to do anything in that room, yeah. 26 perception check. 26 is very good. You look in, you see the door here is open. You can see a number of pirates moving about here. Um, you see they seem they uh, they uh, you can see the body of... Uh, Henry Teagle, whether he's dead or unconscious, you can't really tell. See, he's slumped down in the hallway, um, and you then see a light green glow uh, coming down the hall uh, here. Uh, it's probably, probably not used, but you've got waves crashing around you sort of thing, water all about. Um, those inside the cabin, you hear kind of a shout, like, what's going on? I didn't think they could move. What is this? Uh, and then, uh, let's get out of here. We don't get anything anyway. And then people run up the stairs. They're not coming into the room. You can come, uh, they don't come in the room, they seem to be running away. Sounds can... like the elf's broken out of the cage. Good thing, good thing. Can I... So you can try to get in this... Can I put my ear against the door and see if I can hear anyone approaching? Mm. You can, do a perception check. Uh, 24. 24. Um, you... The, uh, you don't hear the pirates anymore. You hear this uh, slight, almost like crunching sound. It's not quite clear what it is. The pirates are gone. Can I message them if they are coming towards us? Uh, what do you mean? It doesn't sound like someone's coming towards us. Oh, okay. Yeah. When you're back, Sibylla, you're holding onto the right side of the ship, bobbing up and down a little. Do you want to try to get in this porthole? Do you want to keep going? Do you want to go back? Can I go up? Absolutely, you can go up. Yeah? Uh, that'll be another climb check. So, same thing. Crit fail will, will fall. Um, you've got one, you've got, you can use your reaction to the grab on if you fall. But yeah. Crit fail will fall. Success should get up there. To four. Ooh. Unfortunately, it's a critical fail. Well, is there any, there's, no, there's no help actions for this oh, one. Yeah. No more help actions no. for this one. Um, you feel, you try to climb up, the ropes are wet, you slip down, you can use your reaction to grab onto a ledge, which makes sense to just try that check again. Yep. So give us another roll. What did you roll on the dice that time? Three. So you roll four or high. Oh! Oh, another three or lower? A two. Oh. Sibylla, Sibylla falls no. into the ocean. Um, oh my god. Cold, salty water singing at your sides. Uh, How far down from, from our window that we're looking out of is... You, do, you are sitting there quietly seeing something in the hallway you do and you How far out of out. that window down is it? Uh, probably 10 feet. Okay. 
it to the to the water. Okay, um, Drizella runs over to that window mm-hmm. and chucks her insides out the window. Oh, oh <laughs> nice. So, I was gonna do, yeah. And uh, uses her inside ropes and um, messages, and and so she throws her inside ropes. Uh, out the side of the of the the ship and, and goes. Well, can you climb up these then? Into the water. Um, Sibylla, as you're laying there, all of the cold seeping in, uh, you feel these warm ropes, <laughs> uh, and you can grab a hold and pull you back inside. Yeah. Um, as soon as I as I feel you uh, attach, I start to reel in my inside ropes. Um, that is worth that. Um, you pull that. Um, give me a. Give me an upload. Okay. In fact, both of you do it. We'll take whichever of you gets the higher one. Okay. So climb checks for both of you. Can I help them? Um, absolutely. You're done. I'll also. I've let it pull them. I'm going to hero point. I'm going to hero point now. That's the athletics check, did you say? Yep. 17. Wonderful. 17. 17. 18. 9. 9? That's disadvantage. No, you haven't done that with 5, which is a quick failure for help, so you have no effect. Um, So 19, 17. You I'm holding on to you back at the end. So you come back and do the pull call. I pile all, idea. I pile I'm all my inside one. ropes back Let's inside. Never this again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good good solid plan if it had worked. Do you uh, do you keep your composure or 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 does your fear of not or knowledge of not knowing how to swim sort of come out? Mm, I think I'm fearful, fearful but also bloody cold and so I'm mm. probably sitting there and they're over there. I'll get my cloak um, and give it to you. I tip oh, some wine good. over my inside ropes to just the, get the salt off. off your back. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well because uh, yeah bad. salt on your inside ropes is probably not good though. Mm. So that's only a little bit sore. Oh no I'm put, tipping some wine over them putting them back inside and keep them nice and moist. Close to getting nice <laughs> What is your <laughs> I, I'll tell them what I saw that they've left. Mm. The green light. <laughs> uh, 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 you, you, what you'll find is that they're they've all left, so the coast is clear. There was some sort of creature I saw, but I don't know if it's. I think it might have moved on. I I heard some scraping sound outside. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I think there's something that's. Neither do I, but. It was enough to scare all those all those men to leave. Is there like a little oh wait, you're gonna move. Is there one of those little um people? Two people. Yeah. Oh, Alright. Proceed. Um the door's got a crack in the Can I look under the crack? Yeah, sure. I'll I'll just on the ground. see a leaf. I just see a little uh, uh, vine or root or something, uh, worms its way under the door. Uh, and starts growing up. Oh, uh, 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 that's the elf. Uh, I think we've got company. Is the elf bad? Yeah. yeah. Well, the elf's like a tree and thorny and completely See, insane. One comes over the top of the door. Um, I get, I get my whichever weapon is currently. We're friends. Mm-hmm. We're friends of the forest. Are we? I think uh, not. Um, I'll help with that. With um, with the diplomacy, I'll yeah, kind of. Uh, that's a thirty. I was going to whack mm-hmm. it with a mace. That's a natural 20 31, sorry. plus 8, so 28. Yep, yeah. um, so 28, so 31, so 32, so 33. Unfortunately, the DC to persuade an actual tree is 100. Um, <laughs> 20 does not seem to fall. All right. Mm. <laughs> While they're diplomacying, I'm going to whack it with a mace. Yeah, definitely. Uh, one of the ones that's coming in through the bottom. I'm just yeah. going to... Whack it really I'm hard. It's a stationary target. I, you won't. You can. I'll, you can either roll to see if you crit, or I'll let you just hit and do regular damage. Um, uh, eighteen. That does it. Um, you go in there, bang, uh, hitting the tree there. Um, you see as you that you see uh, where you've hit. You see four or five uh, branch out from the middle. No, mm-hmm. don't hit it. Um, so it starts to shake and tremble, bowing back and forth. Um, cast ignition on it. Absolutely. It is a wooden bow. Have we got a mirror? Yeah. A mirror? Mm. As in Bloody Mary mirror? Mm. 
It's, I, it's I got this, a normal mirror. Well, this is what what was on the list of things. There was what a mirror. There was obsidian barnacles. Oh, it's at the door. Was shaking violently. Yeah. Now you see one of the screws on the hinges. Just go. Oh, I shout! As above, so below. Coming for you. As above, so below. Have we got a mirror of some kind? We got yeah. a mirror. Yes, uh, I'll, has a mirror. I'll I'll pass you my mirror. Um, when this, I I'm going to prepare an action mm-hmm. to hold a mirror so this thing can see itself when it opens Ooh. the door. Ooh, I love it. That's interesting. So I'm going to back away from the door mm-hmm. and then hold a mirror so that the first thing, whatever this tree spiny creature thing sees as it comes through the door is itself. And I'm also ready to spell. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a Medusa type thing. Oh, yeah. oh, no, I don't know. Yeah. Does anyone else want to read it? It said stuff about mirrors, and you didn't pick any barnacles up when you were falling you off the boat. You can read only one. Mm. Uh, okay. Sorry, no, you can't. That's not how that works. Um, I would just take my dagger out. Yeah, you dagger. Yeah. Um, you see the door splinters into pieces. Can I get a reflex save from everyone? Mm-hmm. 21. Uh, 21 so that's four points of uh, piercing damage for both of you. Uh, reflex 19. Four. Nine. Four. Nine. Four. Everyone succeeds. Four Whoa. points of damage. Uh, as you see, hovering in the hallway. So we got four damage. Four damage. Yeah. Yeah. So success half damage. You would have taken nine if you failed. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see the elf outside the cage. This emaciated, thin figure. Um, you know, skin and bones and vines and twisting all through them, poking out through them, sticking back into them. Um, what was a small injury in their chest, and this gaping hole, this large, glowing green light as vines go out of them, across the ground, over the door, spreading up the hallway the other direction, this sickly green light filling the room. Um, you hold up the mirror. Mm. What is your spell save? You are 20, probably. Just to have something to compare. 20. 20? Rolling a 19 on their will save, they're stunned for a round. As you see the vines and plants inside them start to move and wriggle, and the the elf itself, seeing it's there, its eyes glow for a moment as it starts to pull back against these plants, and it's stunned in the struggle. You all get a turn. Lovely. Need that thing out its chest. Uh, you can cast Wade's Regret as your hell reaction. Lovely. So that's your action point. Um, uh, you can that's take... a will save. Will save? Yeah. Can I see Maybe the... Th- it is 20 as well. 20? Can I see the thing in its chest? Uh, 24. Yeah. Uh, it's blinding the rats, like staring into a, a, a like metal flame, like a, a really bright light. Like um, since it was only a success, at mm-hmm. the end of its turn, it will take 1d8 damage mm-hmm. per creature it damages. Good to know. It's stunned currently, so it won't take any damage anyway. But yeah. Good to know. So, yeah. Um, you, you look, give me a perception check. The perception, perception, perception. Uh, 25. 25. You see there's a physical thing here yeah. and it is like vibrating and shaking and blowing with all these colours. Um, it seems like something's happened to it and it's exposed where it is. I'm going to go and try and pull it out. Yeah. Using your hands or what's your plan? Yeah. I'm not trying to. You can okay. all take one turn. Oh, I one am turn. going to with a dagger to try and pry. I've got a dagger. I can. I mean, I can try and pry it out with a dagger. I think Eldermit poked at it before, and I can't quite remember what happened to him. Uh, Eldermit scurried away. Didn't mm-hmm. like it. Didn't like it. Um, I will say Eldermit, you know, has regenerative properties. I um, don't think they'll die easily. Just by the way. By the way. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to use Anastasia's dagger. Yeah. To try and pry this thing okay. out of its chest. Give us, if you're using a dagger, give yep. us an attack roll. I will tell you. So the elf usually has an AC of 22. 
Um, you'll need to crit to remove this. Yeah. But it is currently stunned, mm. which is. Uh, I've got twenty-three. It's paralyzed. It's also incapacitated. Uh, stunned. Ring. Can I use my dagger to attempt to help? Uh, probably no. not. Uh, so because it's off guard. So 23. 23. Because it's stunned, it drops it to a 15 in total with all the stuff. So you need a 25 to okay. succeed. So 23 you got? Yep. Not quite. Well, do you have any bonuses you can do? Um... I'll tell you what, is your medicine skill higher than your attack roll? Oh, yeah. I'll let you use medicine. Okay. Uh, that would be 26, then. 26, that would do it. You get in there, you... I did together. study it while, you, you while saving multiple will saves Absolutely. on this thing. The, I could acupuncture it. Before. I've done you enough study. In, you I'm acupuncturing it with a knife. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll give you two options. You can flick your wrist and you'll remove it from the thing's body. Mm -hmm. Or you can try to, like, destroy it with it. Ooh. Three, two, Remove it. You flick the uh, the object uh, pushes out with a horrible cracking and clicking sound, like pulling out dead rotten vines from a uh, tree. The glowing suddenly stops. The elf uh, who was hovering five foot off the ground just drops to the ground. The vines instantly wither, and you see this horrible pit of darkness uh, thunk once on the ground. It doesn't bounce at all. Just one sort of boom, uh, as the elf is down there. Can yeah. I rush to the um, the elf and mm. check their vitals? Uh, you go over; they are stone cold. Okay. Seems for a while. Does, does it look like viney? I don't know what. The vines are so they're, they're slowly withering. Do you mean the thing that came out? No, but does does the elf sort of start to look a bit more normal? A little bit. You see the vines kind of uh, they don't so much retreat away, but they just seem to wither and die. But the elf has horrible injuries still, but they look less twisted. I'll just um, hold them a bit and say, I'm so sorry. What was that thing? I don't know. Sitting on <laughs> there, this <laughs> note of darkness. It, it seemed bad. A little bit like wood, mm. a little bit like uh, an acorn or a seed of some kind, mm. but just this black pit, the light moves about it in odd ways. Uh, Mortal darkness, uh, Lord check. Ooh! 17. Definitely looks dark. <laughs> oh, I want to use a cure for it. Do. Not bad, not bad. That would be a 23. 23. Um, looks like the seed. Uh, looks like It definitely looks like a seed of some sort. It looks dark. Uh, it looks like it's from the dark woods. It also looks even more corrupt. Mm. And as you look at it, you see in amongst this darkness, just this occasional almost lightning inside of it, like this lime green colors, horrible corrupting thing you see. A few times you saw it in the haunt, tomb of the haunt king, um, you saw it in those tunnels, you saw oh, it in the raised from it. Okay. That same bright lime. Color. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll say to them, this looks like something from the dark woods, but it's even more corrupt than anything I've ever seen before. Do we want to keep it? Do we want to throw it in this thing? Definitely don't throw it in the sea. Do we have a oh, bag okay. of holding or something? Yeah, we don't want a random fish to we swallow do. it. That would be yeah. funny though. No, we it don't would be, but it would also be kind of terrifying. A, fish a big getting, thorny fish. A big thorny fish. A thorny tree a fish. fish. A tree fish. Can I, can nice. I take this as some a tree, tree, tree shark? Tree instead shark. of a tree frog, mm -hmm. it's a tree shark. Is, mm -hmm. there, is there any material that I want oh, to know kind of protects against? Give us another dark wood sword. I'll say, um, Rose, you can help with a nature check if you want to. That's a 10. Total? Mm -hmm. 16 plus 8, so... 16 plus 8, so 20... 24. 24. So that brings up to an 11. You're not too sure. You have your membership. Oh! Oh my god, wow. you should be able to that's amazing. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you. So Thank cool. you. I'm actually taking these my to the next. Membership? Well, I'm taking these to the next conference I go to to put my my details on the back. <laughs> <laughs> I have a medical conference in November, and I'm like totally giving these out. Like, <laughs> going in the water. <laughs> uh, can I um, 
Let's <laughs> save one for Wrap this save up. Save some for big um, one. That is cool. It's my endless like, supply of spare hero points. <laughs> Tightly wrapped up. Mm-hmm. Um, does it feel like I can handle it? Um, you wrap the you wrap it up with nothing in particular happening. Okay. Do you, do you mind if I keep hold of this? I might be able to figure out what it is. Oh. As you're holding it, roll the medium of stuff. Ooh. It's not instantaneous, but it's like as you're saying that last minute, you just feel I, something in your mind. I would have told you mm-hmm. this because I sat with that elf for ages and felt it trying mm-hmm. to... So I would have explained all about that when I was telling them about obsidian and mirrors and stuff. Eight, that's a success. Um, so you'd have known the risk. Yeah. Uh, you so. don't take any damage. Um, you feel this like twist of your mind or almost always this, this reaching force from far away. Um, nothing happens, you feel this is going to be uh, an ongoing thing. This is going to be an ongoing thing. What is, is there anything in the library? Any boxes or anything? Um, anything Absolutely, metal? There's, there's all sorts. There's crates. Do you see metal? Metal. Yeah, there's a smallish metal chest. Um, I'll, I'll open it and... See what's in it. Yeah, see what's in it first. Uh, mm-hmm. Two or three books. I'll take the books out. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll put the, yeah. the spear in. You hit almost a hissing sound like when a uh, hot metal touches wood and you see... On the ground where it sat, the wood had already started to rot and crack apart. Uh, the metal seems to be doing fine. Oh, okay. Mm. I'll close that. Is it, is it small enough that I can... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, a book box. So it's that yay big. Yeah. Yeah. Does it feel better in the metal thing? Well, I feel thing? Like it's fine. Okay, great. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll wrap that up, make sure it's nice and secure, and I'll pop it in my pack. And I'll return to the um, the corpse, and I'll just um, is it I'll totally say, dead? Very dead. It feels completely cold, like it's been gone dead for quite some time. Mm. And I'll, I'll say to it, um, I'm not sure who you were or where you came from, but I'm sorry for what happened to you and that you died so far from your home. Autopsy. <laughs> Uh, so there's a mutiny happening on deck as you hear people running around above you. Autopsy will take 10 minutes. We could come back to the autopsy. Uh, fine. Deal with I autopsied somebody. I, I autopsied somebody on the deck. <laughs> that went badly. Oh, I love it. Well, we can, we can, if you come back to autopsy once we deal with the mutiny. Or... You're the worst. As you come out to the hallway, you see a couple of things. I put the mirror um, back the in the pack. First, the body of Henry Tickle. Not sure if he's dead, asleep, unconscious. Uh. Um, you also see that there's something's been done to all the doors of these rooms. Um, it looks like the handles are broken off, and it looks like some sort of like uh, bit of metal is lodged near the handle. I like med check lock. Henry Tickle. Um, yeah, if you check, do you check out the doors? Yeah. You go over I'll and look. It looks out. like they've stuck like a stake or something in the door. So you can't open. Oh. Would we be able to remove them? Not without a considerable amount of effort. You could do it, it will take triple action. So okay, I'll we'll log 25 med check. 25 med check is definitely enough to know if he's alive, he's got a nasty injury to his head, mechanically he's down but safe. Okay, we should probably just leave him. Uh, I'm going to just to drag him there? and stick him in the library. Yeah. yeah which is absolutely. clearly the default place to hang out. And yeah. I'll put a pillow on you, sir. Because I was, yeah, I, I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to wedge him in a corner. And stick but, him in okay. the library. Um, you can get the, the thing off these doors if you want. Um, you can hear people on the other side banging and say, you know, you hear the uh, academic David lives. What, 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 what's going on? What, what's happening? Can, I, okay? can yes. I use no cause for alarm? Absolutely you can. I'll tell you that'll work on all of them. Um, so. And I'll say, it looks like there's been some sort of mutiny or an attempt of mutiny. It's safer to stay, stay where you are. Rooms. You'll be safer in here. Yeah, you nearly died the first time. Yeah. Um, and that yeah, would be okay. twenty six. Uh, that should work on all Hasbi Trelawney. Uh, yep, that hits all of them. Yep. You see, they they go and you see uh, you hear Trelawney, the rich financier, calls a go, go 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 show them what for. Why don't you? <laughs> now, at that point, you hear a terrible thud. You see, the ship actually shakes a little bit. Something mm-hmm. coming from above you. Hey, boom. Oh! Boom. We're trying to get in the room. Yeah. Uh, I would be uh, under the term battering ram. Yeah. Going around. We should yeah. run up. Are they using the mast as a battering ram? Yeah. More than likely, but there is 10 men in all the room. Uh, it would be about 16. 16 of them. Hmm. 
Might be a bit of a, a challenge for us, but... Um, you can do a... Uh, I'll tell you what, you right now, you, sort of, you can give me a perception check to uh, estimate how bad of a fight this is. Um... Um, you start turning on into that 16 minutes week. Um, you remember in the pirate attack earlier, the sailors on here weren't all that much trouble. They were getting taken out quite easily. Mm-hmm. You think the four of you could mm-hmm. take on the 16 of them and, uh, and the boat in a fair fight? Yeah. Right. Um, so, let's, let's do it, get up there then. Um, as we go up, I go, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, Try and spray them with something sharp. So maybe don't stand in front of me because I don't want you to get caught in the blast. That's okay. But I'll hit you if I have to. Yeah. Oh, very honest of no. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it you know, that's uh, almost nice. I think yeah. you'll find. Uh, almost. Merida will probably draw her bow as they're coming up and. Uh, yeah, and I'm focus prepping. On the leader guy, so the pump spray. I think you need to see them to hunt them. Can I see them? Okay. And then you can look at them. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I'm prepping. prepping to oh, do. sorry, so ready. When I, when I yeah, do see them, apologies. that's who I'm hunting for. Yeah, and I was like, since we can't really do one, there's one block of them. I'll, I'll prep a calm spell. Lovely. Yeah. So prepping I'm prepping calm. bone spray. Prepping bone spray. <laughs> Which so goes well with calm. She unleashes the bone spray. <laughs> I'm <laughs> loving the fact that you hold an action for Chris. Um, does that mean I can hit straight away? Yep, yep, without using the action card. So my trigger would be, um, I would try to get into position to get as many as possible within a 15 foot sort of spray range. Fun fact, mm. Pathfinder, super chill with held action. You can just go on a hold bits and then head like you use my reaction. Cool. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Rather than being these um, trigger system this, that, the other. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. That would be that would be my tactic though. So I'm going up with a view to get as many as possible yeah. within my sort of. You're, you're trying to get, and I'll be trying to do the opposite. <laughs> we don't need to fight. We don't need to hurt each other. So no. here's the map. None of that here's nonsense. What we've got. You and that's why I'm just going to the to the stairs going, going up. This is all bad. Stairs going up. We don't know what's happened to Big Big. Steering wheel. A beneficent voice. Taking care of them. The crew is all bad. Trying to knock down the stores. Um, he says, right behind you here is that is a doorway that leads into this hammock room if you want to go there, mm. or you can go upstairs to this as well. Big strong mask here. We're going to be using Pathfinder, a new Pathfinder mechanic you'll not be familiar with. It's called Ooh. Troops. Ooh. It's how Pathfinder handles the groups of enemies. So, mm. this token here represents mm. the collective force of the 16 crew. Mm. They together make one troop. So they're one creature mechanically. Mm. So if you get, like Calm Spell, for instance, mm. one target is the entire crew. Okay, because they are very low power compared to the rest of mm. um, Job, the bosun, is the other target. It's the other one creature here. So you're fighting two creatures, three if you can have the elves. Mm. Um, I'm going to... I'll prep the spell then. Yep. Uh, do I have a favorite spell? Yep. Sudden Bolt. Sudden Bolt, lovely. Um, so you can see they're actually not using the main masters of them. They seem to have fixed that. The ship's actually moving. Um, they seem to have another... Uh, picked up looks to be like a couple of chests sort of, uh, welded together through some means they're trying to bash the wall down. Um, you climb on up, we're going to roll initiative, then you can use all your reactions. There's pretty much nowhere to hide, so there's not really anything to do other than um, just FYI, everyone gets to add um, two to initiative because of my arachnid. Mm. Initiative is just perception. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, for now. So if you're doing other stuff, you can use other yeah. stuff. But and you also get two temporary hit points. Hit points. Okay, so you add, add perception to your initiative roll. Uh, yeah, so you make a perception check and that's your initiative. You don't use next. Okay. Uh, Mordred, how are you doing? Um, 20. 20? Yeah. Merida? Uh, uh, 29. 29. Drizella? 25. 25. Nineteen. Nineteen. Awesome. Uh, Merida, you're off the bat. Drizella, you're on deck. Mm. Then it'll be both the enemies, Mordred, Sibylla, and then the helmsman. Helmsman looks like they're more concerned with steering the ship, um, but they don't look friendly. 
Uh, this okay. deck, by the way, is 60 foot across yep. mm -hmm. and about 40 foot wide, uh, 35 foot wide. So mm -hmm. I'm going to visualize it all because it's more of a bit. All right. Merida, you're up first. Your held reaction lets you hunt uh, the bosun. Yep. That is in charge. You see, you all come up and you see uh, he turns around again. This, you know, man in an ill fitting coat, kind of a sickly look about him. You see, he turns around with a little chuckle. <laughs> I was wondering what happened to you all. Uh, I, I, uh, you're here to follow your friend, are you? What happened to Big B? He took a little swim. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, though, he's got company. <laughs> it's dreary. Uh, Merida, that is your turn. You can all talk as a free Seven. action and all that. Combat music? Yeah, absolutely. Take two quick shots. Tell Jesse he's dead in the one pack. <laughs> not kill Jesse when he's not. I know that. Yeah, no I know <laughs> that. He's full dead. Full cannon dead. <laughs> okay, so if he is. Alright, uh, it's been a while. So That's alright. Let me know if I can give you a hand. I've yeah. hunted. Yep, you've hunted him in three actions because it's your reaction, so you've got your three actions, that's the I've action. got hunted shots, which mm -hmm. is you take two quick shots against one you've hunt, mm -hmm. make two strikes against the prey with the required weapon. Yep. If you for, if both hit the same creature, combine their damage for the purpose of resistances and weaknesses, apply your multiple attack penalty. That's what it is, yep. Okay. As normal, so you take your first shot normally, then you take five or four okay. away from the last Cool, one. awesome. Well, my Your first one was a 24 to hit. Shield bow is not quick, so yeah, so yeah. Uh, take five. Minutes. So what was the first one? So I rolled a tw uh, 24 to hit. 24, so. that'll hit. And then roll the second, so I can buy Yeah, damage. so and then the second one was an 18 on the dice. Plus uh, five. Uh, 18 plus five. 18 plus five. You can roll on your page. 23. 23, that will be awesome. But you can roll your cash, especially for the multiple attack stuff where your penny makes a difference. Yes. Okay. Okay. Is it still only one D eight? For your attack? Yeah, because is it uh, uh, the first shot that's the hunted? Um hunted let me check edge? how your thing works. Uh hunter's edge is a feat. Yes. No, skill feet, which not which feet. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, I'm looking on Sabina's sheet, that's why I can't see it. Uh, range of feats. Uh, hunted shot, no. Hunter's edge, hunt crack, here we go. Hunter's edge, precision. Deal one uh, every uh, second time around. You, do, you also deal one. Uh, no, it's no. The, just, just the first. first one. That's what I thought. Once you hit level seventeen, you get an upgrade to that. Yeah. But now it's just okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. So it's got ten piercing damage. And don't forget, you your weapons deal two two damage dice above the four, so two d six. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I rolled two ones, unfortunately. Cool. Um, so forty six that I rolled a ten mm -hmm. and then a five on the precision die. Oh, so fifteen for the first attack? Yeah. yeah. And then for your next attack? Um, I think I have an easy resistance. Okay. So my third and then Emma you're on. Yep. So, so that fifteen damage, was that for both the attacks or just the first? Yeah, that was that was both the no. attacks combined. Cool. And then you've got the third action that you can remove. Um, these cannons look like you can get some cover behind them. Yeah, I'll probably go duck behind the cannons. Wonderful, I'm going to go the north one. Yeah, the one in the north. North one? I would cool. say, like, stay in. Don't see me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to venture too far from the fire. Third foot yeah. is quite a bit. So third foot from water is all the way to the east. Oh, yeah. Yeah, quite a small encounter. Yeah. Uh, and wonderful, Mary, you go there, you have the benefits of lesser cover, so plus two years. Um, Drizella, that is you. Okay, um, I'm going to move to get as many things as possible within 15 foot cone. Uh, one of them, you can 
definitely get both of them in a 15 foot cone. Okay, in that case, it's a basic reflex uh, save. Well, actually, sorry, maybe not because he's so far back. Mm. You actually can only get one unless you go right here. Because the pirates are so big, you, they're actually yeah, 15 yeah. foot long. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Wide, you know I mean? Um, in that case, I'll take out the pirates. Uh, awesome. Uh, I will tell you straight, because they're a crowd, we're going to take extra damage to their of effect attacks, and that's okay. apparently obvious to you. Uh, do you want to do a stride action? Do you want to do a stride action first to get there? Uh, yeah, so one movement, mm -hmm. 14 piercing damage, basic mm -hmm. reflex save. Awesome. Uh, then I to do, then I take the reflex... Uh, 26, so Ooh. success. Success. Um, so that would be 7 then, I would guess. 7. What and uh, piercing, what and piercing? 1 persistent bleed. Lovely. Okay, so that's 7 damage, weakness 8. So that's, oh, I mean, weakness, it's a mystery. Uh, uh, that hurts them quite a bit more than you expect. There's some fire out these shards. Is that a reflex save? Uh, you drop 2 or 3 of them uh, with that attack. And then persistent three damage, you said? Uh, yeah, one persistent bleed. Awesome. I do that somehow cleverly, but I'm, I'm just reminding when I say it's their turn that they take three damage. Yep. Awesome work. Uh, that is me. Next up, it's the bosun's turn, and then the pirates. Um, you see he is going to... You see, he calls out, he uses his bosun command action, uh, which is the key spell to call out. Come on, you're gonna let them take, you're just gonna take that from them! Uh, and you see the pirates seem to resolve in their anger. Some of them continue barring away, some of them clap weapons, look over to you. The bossy uh, bosun. <laughs> very unhappy. A bossy bosun indeed. Mm -hmm. Don't like this fella. Awesome. Um, he is then going to. Uh, you see, he's wielding a full naval spike, this enormous spear like weapon. Um, you see, he's going to swing on some ropes, which lets him move double speed. So 14, uh, sorry, 50, so he gets him to over the other side. So he lands over here. Uh, and his third action Damn. is just, he's going to throw a big dagger at you, Trisella. Mm -hmm. How does a crit to hit? So that's a <laughs> 35. Nice to see. Apologies. To me. To you. That's kind. I thought you said Sibylla. No. Yeah. Uh, it is only 16 damage. Which, in terms that, of crit, not terrible. Not, no, no, no. I'm good with the not terrible. Uh, as you see, he gives that order, uh, grabs on a rope he's had near him, swings right across the deck, lands on the other side of you all. There, yeah. uh, and dagger <laughs> into the zone. Uh, actually, sorry, before he throws that down, yeah. you see he's going to say, uh, can't we just talk about this? I'd love to. Uh, he sees this wonderful, come with us, help us kill and hang Captain Smolt, we'll take the treasure for ourselves. What is this crime? Uh, nothing at all, but we can't leave the old Captain alive, can we? Why not? Well, he could cause a mutiny. We'd hate that, wouldn't we, lads? And that's a good laugh. Because that laughs a bad at captain? him. And then he can yeah. throw the sword. <laughs> then he can throw like a bunch solid. of salty sea dogs to act without integrity. <laughs> yeah. You see, he says, what do you say? We've got a very short window of opportunity here. You're men without honour and we can't trust you. Fair yeah. enough. Throws down. <laughs> the Definitely not. Um, democracy is an option. I mean, diplomacy is an option. I don't think he's gonna no. be. Uh, what's it? Persuaded. I'll try my darndest to get them to see reason. I don't think they see reason. They're pirates. Scallywags. They've been unseen for too long. The scurvy has gotten to them. Yeah. Have some good men see people. <laughs> we'll go for the three of you. Yep. Um, so, Merida, Mordred, and Sibylla, oh. can you please make me a basic reflex, uh, a reflex saving throw? It had to be a reflex saving didn't it? Uh, as you see, uh, various arrows, thrown knives, daggers, slingshots, and the lot uh, come hurling through the air at you. Oh, uh, that's an 18. 18? Uh, that's a success, so that is 
six damage. Uh, that's a success, so six damage. Twelve. Twelve, that's a failure, so thirteen damage. Uh, Drizella, you're not in the area, so that's fine. Uh, as you see, they go for a shot there. Uh, and then they're going to... Get him. Uh, Drizella, how far away are you? Oh, Drizella, you're ten feet, good choice. Which means they cannot actually do that. So they're going to cover some space. So they only get 15 feet. Uh, 25, I thought so. Uh, 25. So they are going to cover. They move oh. right over top of all of you because oh. they're at mm -hmm. towards so they can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna... um, all right. So next time. All right, uh, did they take bleed damage? Uh, thank you. One count bleed damage? Uh, one. One bleed damage. Bleed. Believe it or not, that made a huge difference for reasons that I'll explain later. Uh, bleed damage does not stop. Uh, and full, not quite yet. Mordred, that's all to you. Um, Mordred is swirling with his almost almost like the black that we saw from the, the little orb, that dark orb darkness. His curse is swelling about him, and he'll say, "Why don't you follow what your bosun says and just listen to reason?" Um, and I'll cast a calm spell. <laughs> Go for it. Um, so that yeah. Uh, so you the crew. It's a DC twenty. <laughs> the crew meets beats. No. The bosun, however, <laughs> are you targeting him as well? Yes. Rolls a critical failure and an 11. So he crit failed. A critical failure? Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's the same as a failure. Really? Any emotion effects that would affect the creature is suppressed, um, and oh, the creature can't use hostile actions. If the target is subject to hostility from any other creature, it ceases to be affected by calm. Critical failure as a success, but hostility doesn't need to be affected. Yeah, yeah. So you can still roll on your charge like that. Uh, horrendous. Uh, what does that look like for him? Is he smoking a J and just chilling yeah. out? <laughs> smoking a pipe. Pretty much. Um, I think the kind of darkness that's around me mm. um, will kind of reach out in tendrils and just wrap around him like an embracing cuddle. Oh. Yeah. Or kind of here for hands cuddle. on the shoulders, just like calm. Calm little massage. Yeah. It's, his, it's my mother's rub hand. His it's my mother's hand. Rub his temples for him. <laughs> It's the embracing, calming hands of Morgana Le Fay. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the well-known calming hands. Um, is this successful or anything? The calming one has a minus... Uh, so calming, minus one attack there. Yeah. Minus one attack as well. Yeah. That's not nothing either. Alrighty. Horrendous. And then in it's my final action, I'll just raise my shield. Um, but it does need to sustain, which makes yeah. it a lot harsher. Sibylla, that is you. Right, You've got a board of pirates right in front of you, and the bosun coming in. This is still our bonus actions, isn't it? Uh, you you can use that, yeah. Okay. Did you have one of those prepared? Bonus action. Uh, oh, prepared, ready. That was my ready action. Oh, awesome! So you've still got two. Attacks. Oh, I've still, still got, got two turns. Oh, damn. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll take out my oh my sword's already taken out. Mm -hmm. Um, can I make a strike? Yeah, absolutely. They're all around you to suspend my curse. Ooh, lovely. That's going to be a um, 23 to hit. Hit. Um, that's great damage. Um, that'll be a 15 plus 4, 19 damage. Nice. 19 damage. You see a strange thing happens. They shrink. <laughs> uh, you pass a damage threshold. You take out two of the pirates. You see there is now only about 12 of them. Alive. Um... And that is my final action of stabilizing the second round. What? So, because, so, I'm happy yeah, to this say happened you took before. that because it's a troop. So okay. the damage is not so much to an individual, it's the pool of people working together is getting shaken up. Okay. So you stab one in the foot, you crack one's knee, um, yeah. they're on the side of the deck. Yeah, I like them not them and their heads. One of them goes over, grabs onto some rigging, and be dragged along by the boat. Okay, lovely. And then I'll make a second attack with the attack penalty, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Um, what is that minus? Five. Five. Unless you've got a light weapon, but very few damage. 
That's a nat 20. Very um, good. Go for it. Um, so 31 minus 5. Uh, but, but a crit, so yep. But it's a crit. Um, how does crit modify damage? I'm so sorry. Double everything. Double everything? Yep. Well, it was normal than double everything. Oh, that was such shit, shit damage. Okay, that's going to be... Can you well, can you use your hero point to redo the damage roll? No, I don't Already think so. Already used your hero points. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'd allow it, though. Uh, that's 12 damage. 12 damage. Yep. Um, you see, they they pass their next uh, thing. There is now only about five <laughs> or six fights left. You watch as Mordred hits them with a calm spell and then just takes out a sword and just wails on this crew of people. I imagine this kind of, like, the darkness of the, the curse is kind of just cutting through and you just see this Absolutely. smoke light. Um, smoke tendril picks up one of the pirates, throws yeah. them against the mast. Um, this is meant to be a very challenging encounter. I've done some nasty stuff with the last one. Uh, the helmsman's going to join in. Uh, seeing things go, now you see they tie a rope around the thing to keep the ship going straight. You break that, the ship will go sliding off in all directions. The helmsman's not the bosun, right? No, no, no. the helmsman drives, bosun does. No, um, okay. Helmsman is going to use one movement action to get to there, and then the rope swing, which gets them... Up near, in fact, they can hit Mordred. Oh no. Yeah, they're gonna do it soon as sharp. Now, I did use my reaction just to check for the readied action, so I yes, don't get another reaction. Um, what do you add to reflex? Uh, so, fortitude save. Uh, plus eight. Plus eight. They do not manage to break that. You see, they come in, but you are a rock as they just crash against you, and then they sit. Stand off the deck. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, Wants to be a millionaire. Yeah. Oh, Alrighty, back to the top, Merida. That is you. Fantastic. What about me? Oh, Why sorry, sorry, Sibylla. <laughs> That's oh, just nobody Sibilla loves again. me. What would you like to do, Sibylla? I want the the the, 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 the smaller mass of people mm-hmm. to roll a basic reflex save, please. Basic reflex save. Is this your held action? Yes, this is my hold action. So, held action and an action. Uh, 12. Or held 12. 12. 12. Yeah. Fail, I imagine. yeah, because it's against my DC. Yep, yeah. your DC is 21. 21. Very nearly perfect. So, the Fair. beauty of this spell is it re- uses D12s. Yeah! <laughs> so, I roll 4D12s. Ooh! Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, we cut raise the hands up to the sky, and down comes a crack of lightning. Crack of lightning. Absolutely love it. Crack of lightning. Through a clear sky early in the morning. Boom! Some damage. That's not good. It wasn't a great. Uh, Fifteen damage. Fifteen. Yep. They are done. You oh, see, nicely done. The rest of them. Most of them go running uh, for the hills. Some are dead. There's one or two left. They are no longer a threat, though. As you see, they uh, scurry about. So that was my fold action. Yeah. Do I, can I have a go? Can I do the same thing again to the helmsman? If you've got it prepared, if you've got it prepared twice, you absolutely can. Or if you've got spell slots for it, I do have the spell slots for it. Go for it. Um. So another reflex save. Yes, please. Going to full. I would say that it'll break the calm spell, but it won't. Twenty-three. So a success. It only take half damage. Half damage. Okay. But still, you know, painful is painful. Oh, that's a better roll. Oh, that is a better roll. Damn. That, that's okay. Better roll. Uh, 34 better. half to 17. 34, wow. 17. That's, that's a lot better. Um, you take them to bloody. You see their their mutinous crew has been dispatched by you all in about five seconds flat. Um, the helmsman's still around, but he's not much of a threat by himself. Uh, you beam of lightning comes down. Do you say anything to it? Um, As God is my witness. I don't, I don't really have a snappy, you know, <laughs> You could but, ask him to yield. Yes. Mm-hmm. I have sm- I have smoked your crew, and I have dealt damage to you. <laughs> Do you yield? Uh, you've got one action left. Would you like? You can use it to make an intimidation check. Uh, yeah. I, I will give you a plus <laughs> two bonus for the Because I'm such an intimidating thing. I might hold up my hands again, saying, don't make me do it again. Yeah, yeah go for it. Uh, I'll tell you, anyone who likes can use their reaction for the next round, which is about to happen, to give a help action to this. Lovely. I will. Uh, is that just diplomacy or intimidation? Uh, it has to be intimidation. Oh. Unless you've got a success. Yeah, no. I've... Don't waste it. <laughs> Don't waste really? it, guys. Yeah. Okay. No? No. Nah. Well, what did, you, what did you get? I rolled a three. Uh, okay. You don't add a lot to intimidation? I add three. 
Okay, so six, so seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, high as you can get is eleven or fifteen. It's not going to cut it. No. Um, uh, you see, instead of looking scared, he looks furious. Um, he looks to you. He looks to you. Uh oh. I'm feeling you might be tired. Uh, but first, Merida, your turn. Uh, I'm still hunting my prey, so I'm just mm-hmm. shooting it in. Go for it. Is this the bison? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he was my. First and original target to mm-hmm. hit the leader and the rest of my followers. He won't be boasting he won't about this us. fight. Don't kill him, I'll say. <laughs> Sorry. I have two in the can. Uh, so that would be a 12 to hit for the first one. I'm assuming that misses. 12 does in fact miss. Yep. Cool. And then a 25 on the second one. Uh, 25 will hit. No, it's a 20 on the die. It's a net 20 plus five, so that's the first. So that's so 20, yeah, so look, you need to let me know if you can roll a net 20. Yeah. So so that's that's improves, 20. Yeah, so that improves the trick. So when you roll a net 20, you improve it by one step, so if you get a regular hit, it takes up to a crit. Okay. And what do, what do we do for crits again? Sorry. Double all the damage at the end. Okay. So roll your damage and then double. So roll your damage, add your on fire, and then double. Okay, seven plus eight is. 15? 15? Double? Damage? Yep. Uh, no, that's not double. So you double? Double 30. So it's 30. Uh, you're shooting lethally or non-lethally? Uh, I, I not lethally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lethally. Uh, <laughs> tell me, how did you finish this guy off non-lethally? Um, you got a shot, you got an arrow. Probably go for like the knee or the shoulder or something. <laughs> shoulder, yeah. the shoulder. Arrow in the shoulder. You see he's got his pike helmet. You see he's yeah. lining yeah. up, ready to take a shot at yeah. Mordred or Seville, one of the two. And just through the shoulder, weapon, clacks the side of the boat, falls into the ocean. No, uh, just the weapon. Uh, you see, he, you see, he, he, he is defeated. Ignore the spell. Um, you see, at that point, the helm this big half orc. Um, you see, uh, chucks down his uh, great axe and says, "I know when we're beat." Uh, that's the end of that. That should have been a moderate encounter. That was insane. Okay. Mod- Mordred is 99% sure Drizella looks sad <laughs> through her plague mask. <laughs> He's mechanically defeated, so he is like on the ground in pain. Yeah. He can still talk. Can I can't just, take action. Can stabilize. I stabilize any of the. the yeah, you, you go through, you, can, you stabilize what um, of the crew you can. So there's not, you see a lot of them are. Um, um, should we tie them up? Drizella walks over to the uh, downed bosun Mm -hmm. and pulls out her very nasty syringe and and just holds it up holds it up to his throat and goes what have you done with with me I'm afraid your friend's taking a dip he's over can we look over the side to see if Big B is grabbed onto the do, side? You see the boat's gone. On. Nobody seems to be there. You see one of the pirates who's just gone there and says, Oh, thank you! And I'll still pull up. I'll put my hand down. Um, so while down. Mordred's doing that, so I'm, you say you put yeah. I'm like, I am less inclined to mercy okay. and kindness as That's some right. of my compatriots. Where did you throw him? Uh, you see, he says, um, ten minutes back the way we've come. Guards could take him anywhere by now. I'm sorry, your friend is who he is. Uh, it would be a shame if you had to follow him, maybe missing your head. And she pulls out her bone saw. Uh, oh. Mordred, you're going to have to intervene fairly um, quickly yeah, or I'm going I, to decapitate uh, the bone saw. Can I just like, hmm? grab her hand? Um, <laughs> I'm doing it slowly enough that you could stop me if yeah. you needed to, but I'm going to decapitate the boat. Somewhere. And then I'll say, fortunately for you, we're not all murderers on this ship. Forensic scientists. I'll have you know. You see, he says, um, would you let my... Uh, you see, he says, um, I don't think I'll survive this injury. Would you allow me to look at a picture of my darling wife one last time? No. Can I make an insight check to see? No, Mordred. No. I'm holding you to the results of this. Yeah. No. Um, that's sixteen. Sixteen. 
critical fail. He fully oh believes this oh, poor guy has to protect his wife one more time. Oh. Oh. I, I'll, I'll kind of lower my sword a little bit and I'll say oh, it's God. the least I can do. Okay. <laughs> um, you pull up this locket, you click it open, uh, there's nothing inside. Uh, you see behind him the waves on the ocean just suddenly all go to the point of the sword. Uh, just standing out from the just <laughs> flat. Cool. And slowly start to move again. What was that? <laughs> uh, you see he starts to slowly shakily stand. Uh, he's out of it so you can stop him if you want to. Oh, yeah, I'll grab his hands yeah. from behind. You grab his hands. Um, you see he... Uh, Struggles against you for a moment, but stops and uh, just chuckles and enjoys something. What was that? Tell us. <laughs> something much worse. Oh, Mordred. <laughs> it's the Kraken. <laughs> what See, was it in our There's some. Uh, seems to be magical, yeah? You can give me either yeah, Arcana, yeah. Mordred, uh, nature, Mordred, Mordred. You see the sun pokes up over the horizon. <laughs> I think we throw him to the waves. There's, there's more he can tell us. We don't know why he did this or what's going on. He's definitely with magic. Hmm. Can I detect see. magic? Yeah. You think magic. It's happened already. Yeah. Um, but I can see. Um, I'm. Well, all. Well. See, he sputters out. It's an old friend, I've been. Well, go on, you carry on. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Is that a check or was it just work? It just worked. Uh, whatever magic was in the locket, it's gone. Okay, cool. Can I, can I tie up his hands? Yeah, sure. Um, you tie up his hands. And tie him to the mask. Yeah, you tie him to the mask. Uh, you hear um, banging from the other side of the captain's door. Uh, as you then see an axe break through on the other side, Smollett uh, reaches through, unlocks it uh, with what clearly is the correct key, uh, knocks it open and comes out. He is bedraggled, he's quite badly injured, he's sort of locked himself in there after some long fight. Yeah. Uh, not to mention still the injured being crushed by that. Um, can, knowing that something has been probably summoned, can I please go down and try to... Uh, let the people that were trapped in the room there. Yeah, for sure. You don't know. I'm torn between a raven and a puffer fish, but I'm going for a raven. Yeah, because my puffer fish is going to die. Okay, it's just in case, you know, the ship goes down, I want them to have an opportunity to be able to escape. That might mechanically do something to me. Puffer fish? No, the raven. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't know that. I am going to use my wand of summon animals slash mm-hmm. woodland creatures or whatever it is yeah. uh, to summon a puffer fish <laughs> because I've wanted a puffer fish mm. since I got the wand because uh, and apparently they need water uh, otherwise they just die so I'm going to summon a puffer fish and ask it to go and f- go find and Big find Big B. <laughs> Like before you, that you see the helmsman mm. um, after this lock is open, uh, just swan dives off the side of the boat and starts swimming. Oh no! <laughs> I'm go- I'm going to ask the the puffer fish find Big B. So <laughs> 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 then throw it and like lob it in the sea. You lob a puffer fish into the ocean. <laughs> yes, <laughs> love. It. Well, it's uh, happier it's in the ocean. To swim away. It does seem happy. It starts gulping for water. Uh, it swims off. Cool. Oh, okay. Vaguely in the opposite direction to the boat. Fine. In the direction that we're going, yeah. Uh, in the direction that we're going. Big B's going to get. Big B's going to get attacked by puffer fish. Can I try and read the boat? Mm. Um, does he appear afraid? No. Okay. He mm. looks like there's a terrible joke for you to get quite top of Don't like that. Mm. Um, can we tie the other um, pirates up to the yeah, mask? Yeah, you can tie them. There's really far, four, three, four left. You tie yeah. them up to the mask as well. Yeah. Um, and I will probably. So there's no like small rowboat or anything like that. There'd be a rowboat. You're in the middle of like you're in an ocean. Like yeah, it might it might get you away from this ship, but it would be a gamble of whether you'd survive or not. Can I cast a sort of field spell? Yeah, for sure. Um, 
You see, nothing seems to be happening immediately. What 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 um, are you doing is the moment's turning. What's the state of the mast? Uh, fixed. By all counts, the ship should run, and, and in fact, it is slowly moving. You see, it's fixed with ropes. Um, Everyone takes eleven kills. The, the helm um, is, is fixed in position of ropes as well, but those that the helms have gone just before they go. Uh, I'm going to go um, and try and let the captain out. Yeah. As you see, the captain has knocked down the door. That's fine. Out. In that you case, I'm going to go autopsy. Out. Yeah? Autopsy the elf. For sure. Oh, when you head down, you start autopsying I'm the elf. Autopsy the elf. How much of the crew are still here? That's four people, including the boats. All the on our side. Oh, on, on your that. side. Um, no, so oh, the others just jumped off. Uh, so some of the sailors did. So there's about four sailors left alive okay. who are tied to the boat, who are tied to the boat, to the boat. And then you've got Squire Trelawney, yeah. uh, Doctor okay. David uh, Livesley. Mm-hmm. Uh, the halfling's nowhere to be seen. Um, Henry Maybe the captain knows what he's done. Yeah. Uh, the master. I say as I go to autopsy the captain. Doing? Sorry, uh, captain, he's, he's come just, out. Just out near there's... the door. He's he's kind of and then to me. He's slumped down. So um, I storm off to do my autopsy that I had to interrupt for a fight, and I say maybe he knows what just happened. Um, to the gesturing at the captain as I disappear off to autopsy the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, what's the boatswain doing? Yep. He's been defeated, so he had a healthy can take no action. I think he opened all his attacks, and then he wanted to open the locket. Something weird happened. He's been chuckling all the since, and now he's been tied up. So that so that. Him and four of his comrades. Yep. Mutineers, if you will. Yeah, indeed. I would. Uh, yeah, we'll just Don't take me five minutes because I have forensic acumen as a skill. So I can do a quick autopsy. He doesn't know what this means. Again, it's it's deep damage. It's from that pole fire that he's in heart. Need him. He needs days to recover. Yeah. That's the captain. Uh, mm. How long is the captain? Um, mm-hmm. Do you know any reason the bosun would have been trying to break into your office? You see, he says, "I wanted this," and he pulls out the map with trembling hands. He says, "You must apologise to your friend for me. Their pockets were rather open. Uh, I will simply return the favour." That's so that was the that captain that said that. Captain says that. that um, you see, he gives you the map, and he like doesn't die, but he just like closes his eyes and makes that he's passing. He looks sad. I think it's time to look at the map. Yeah, I'll look at the map. You look at the map. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it on there. Yeah, you got two. Pe- you got two pieces of map. Um, I don't remember who it was. I think maybe Sibylla worked it out. You put them over the top of each other, fold yeah. them the right way. Well, should we, do we have pretty much free reign on the ship? Yeah, so the captain is the only crew member, really. So there's captain. You see Squire Trelawney and the professor are also on the ship, but they seem pretty content in their room. They seem to be shaken up every time. Can we go to like the captain's room where yeah. you'll have all these instruments, like you've got like yeah, magnifying absolutely. glass thing and yeah. and open up the map there? And I'll yeah, grab the deciphering maps from the library. Mm-hmm. You have cryptography book. Yeah. Um, cartography book, sorry, you've got that. You fold the map, put it on top of the other, you look at that, you hold it against the window for the rising sun. So at this point, you know, about halfway up the sky, um, coming in through it, and you see the island. No name, but clearly the map of an island. You see directions. Uh, Take port by the Elephant's Rock, mark 40 paces east to the cross palm trees, mark 65 paces north to where the hangman stands. Thirty paces east again to the cave. There be no the treasure. Hmm. No kind of Monte Cristo references going on there. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. At least I've read that book. I don't know Treasure <laughs> Island, so it's a lot shorter than Monte Cristo. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I saw it in the bookshop the other day. Um, yes. There is so that that part of it, the finding the treasure on the island. You know that you memorize it. You don't need the map for that. Yeah. What you will need the map for is it's got steps of navigating to the island. A much of complicated sailing jargon. Yeah. You've got a book on sailing, you could translate it, but uh, yeah, that will take a while. It'll take you, I mean, this is this is a week of time. Is this the map that we're meant to destroy? Yeah. One could presume. But then the issue here is that we have a very small crew. 
You, and yes. How the hell are we going to navigate it? And, you know, as much as my bravado might suggest I'm an experienced sailor, actually, this is where you, I could get found out. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, to pilot a galley mechanically, you need 12. You have, if you could convince that you could, A, get the two other people downstairs to work, heal up the captain, and get the mutineers back on site, you have exactly the people required. I don't really have a choice because we're in the middle of the ocean. Mm. So, yeah. survival we need, is key. We need to get to so, you're currently moving. The sails are out, the mast is held, you're going along the ocean. Um, while you're in this office, you can work out your heading. I'll let you either roll for that or you can just take an hour with the sailing book nowadays and things and work that out. You're going to take the hour to the roll for it. Well, surely, well, what, um, what are we we rolling? Rolling? surely the navigator would mm-hmm. be able No, to he's the ship's. Uh, he's he's the also navigator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Would he be able to assist us with this? Can indeed. I apologize. I think he died earlier. No. He absolutely joins you in the office. I saved him in the last battle. Thin, nervous academic. Having nearly Um, killed him. Would this, like, mean instead of taking weeks to decipher, it would take, like, minutes? Oh, for him, he could work this out pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, The reason it'll take you, the reason you'd need the map to find is because you don't know these things. He could copy these down and follow them later, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, Do you show him the map? Can I vibe check this guy? You can. <laughs> There's less of a means to do that in D&D uh, in Fair enough. than D&D. But yeah, give us a perception check. Just he's, whether I'm going to... He's not done anything obviously harmful. He wasn't yeah. involved in the like, mutiny. Like uh, uh, he got injured in the original... Yeah, he was locked in his room in the mutiny. I trust um, okay. And he got injured in the first battle. So he was generally useless, but he wasn't harmful. I'll show you that. Cool. Um, you see he's ecstatic down inside of this. Normally, this must be an island out by the devil's teeth. That's quite a treacherous bit of water. I wouldn't want to navigate it without this one. Um, and then you see he goes on and says, oh, we're currently on a pretty direct course for this island. Um, we have hard time making port with as few as we have, but we could just drop the sail and drift slowly to port now or to out. We, we could land there quite far by ourselves. Perhaps we stop on, on the crew and head on out. No, ah, so we don't need to. So mist traps on the way. So mist traps on the way. So uh, which way we're we going? Mist traps. Kill the person then. So you yeah. are <laughs> yes. currently. You're yes. Like, you're like the uh, the good. So we were going to mist trap. If we go to know. Treasure it's Island, that's it. Well, well, you... To be fair, I think everyone but you would do that. It's on the other My shoulder. My Thursday night campaign character is right on the edge of. We really are the good guys. And, and and I have the most blood on my hands. What the hell am I doing? I should have stayed in the monastery. So you're all in the sea currently here. <laughs> um, they're yeah, talking man. about when he explains it, he talks about when they're going past the South Sea, past Arnhem Land into the open ocean. Oh, that's where um, the devil's really going. That's where the devil's really going. Weeks and weeks away. Okay, so. um, you are currently heading on a direct course for this guy. All right. If you go to the devil's teeth and on this treasure hunt, you will miss the beast king's bull. What's the, what's the navigator's name again? Uh, David Lysley. Uh, Mr. Lysley, sir. Okay. So, if we were to drift, as you suggest, how long do you think till that mist flap? Oh, two days? If the wind two holds. days. Three if it doesn't. We have ample we're, we're, we're moving very slowly. We've got lots of onions. We, ha- we have the supplies for it. It would be dull and a slow way to travel, but we, it would be fine. Do we um, not need to turn around? And try and find Bixby. I'm not saying this. I'm still autopsying downstairs. Mm. But, uh, you know. That voice did say Bigby was safe. Mm. Mm. It said Bigby wasn't the priority. No, it said Bigby is safe. So your friend would be okay. Okay. You said the puffer fish. I said the puffer fish. fish. It's, it's all fine. Um, <laughs> I got autopsy. here and I didn't even know you guys were here. It's fine. Uh, you do that autopsy. <coughs> you. Um, you don't really find any new information. You presume I'm just that them whatever this thing was, it has spread throughout their body and twisted them. Hmm. I'm interested in generally mm-hmm. in the twisting. It looks distinctly arcane. Oh, sorry, distinctly primordial in nature, primordial magic, mm-hmm. druidic magic, that sort of thing. You see, I'm very twisted. I, um, so, not, and, so and, not your type yes, of magic. So not a witch's magic. Uh, not even Mordred's magic. Uh, I don't think anyone in the party has come over magic. Okay, so this is like something very different to all the magics that we've got. Yeah. 
Um, okay. Totally um, nasty, but again, yeah. it's, it all seems to be about that. Yeah. Is Bigby not being like keel or something, is he? Quite happy to. Um, no. um, what I just like is if I. I'm, what I'm trying to basically learn mm. is if I came across something similar. So a similar kind of magic, yeah. mm. um, a similar kind of primordial mm, badness. Yeah. The sort of almost the signature. So like the if I came across something ooze morphy, I'd probably recognize or yeah. flesh warpy. I'd probably I, I, I spot tell it. You, uh, the mechanic, the tag that this thing has, the trait is blight. Okay. So it's something blighted. You'll be able to recognize the one. Okay. Blighted things. Fine. Thank you. Um, uh, so what, I'll uh, add it to my it list of random need, stuff. Any, so, yeah, don't you need to decide about islands and treasure and all that for at all? What are people doing for the next couple of hours? Anything in particular? Um, other than taking the rest. So, are they all, are they all the mutineers tied up to the mast? All of them tied up to the mast. And whereabouts is. And the elf's dead, right? Elf is dead. And now in pieces. And now in pieces. Should we put the, should we put the uh, bow suit in the cage that the elf is in? You certainly could. Yeah. yeah. To um, distinguish him from the other crew who could be useful. Yeah, for sure. Can you tie the bowsun up downstairs? I put the bits of the elf mm-hmm. in the cage with the bowsun. Very, oh very Oh my grim. god. <laughs> Can I try to stop it? <laughs> I would, as you're doing this, oh. I would say, Zella, I think they've suffered enough. Yeah, you see, as you see, he says, uh, uh, "Not you, the elf." The elf's dead. You see, as you're doing this, the boat says, uh, "I don't suppose you put an old sea dog up on deck for some fresh air." Mm. I understand this might be the last idea. We're not going to kill you. I, I lock. Like I lock. No. I put all the body parts in there with him and lock the door. Yeah, he doesn't get a second. And then. Time. Is Henry is Henry T. Cool? Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's woken up after an hour or so. Okay, I put he- Henry T. Cool back in <laughs> in the chair yeah. and go. Uh, you've got a new prisoner. Um, with your previous prisoner, no idea what happened, but think he killed. Says, tried I, I to kill you. I don't blame you. Have to deal with these We've got a new prisoner. Cage, not my oh, we've got a new one for <laughs> you. Absolutely. You, you save me. You do what you like. Excellent. And, this, and this is this is the guy who did the damage to you. You see, he says, "Oh, does this one need all his fingers?" So oh. just, just don't yes, give, keep just, all the fingers. Uh, <laughs> just don't give him the Edward the second treatment. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one currently isn't muttering. We don't um, know what that is. Google it later. Feel free to feel free to <laughs> try and get I, him there. I think I'm familiar. I'll You're familiar it. with that one. Yeah. Um, Which, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> Leave like the that. bosun to yeah. to the tender bosun mercies bosun. of Henry T. Cool. Henry T. Cool. Cool. Um, with my free time, can I go into the library Poor if I can escape from everyone for a minute mm-hmm. and look at the orb again? The yeah, for sure. The darkness orb? Yeah, you. Oh, Mordred. <laughs> I just want to examine it further. I just want to look at it. Oh, oh, like one more time. Mordred. I'll do a little, little pippin. God. <laughs> Just want to look at it. I just want to look at it. Oh no. Mordred. That'd be done, Mordred. Oh. 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 It asks you your name. Oh god. Do I feel like I can lie to this thing? It's hard to say. My, my name's Mordred. I was going to say you wouldn't lie, Mordred. Uh, You'd probably give it money. Mordred never lies. <laughs> Which he likes some money. My name to pay. You feel there's a, there's a stir, there's, a, there's an attention, there's a scattering of things. Uh, you, you feel something falling, sea water rushing in around us, a uh, bolt of lightning, uh, turning oh, the changing tides and currents. Oh, my God. It asks you where it is. Well, are you in front of us, do No. Mordred snapped off. I'm. I'm we were on a boat on the Grim Sea. Chatting to fucking dust. There's a sense of familiarity with the Grim Sea. Uh, it always feels like trying to remember, but not quite how the things are. There's a scattering, uh, deep underwater, rotting leaves, rotting branches, uh, rotting trees, 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 rotting tr
what do you know about Toby? I would uh, play her a lot. In game, uh, nothing. I know the know <laughs> We know quite a bit from seeing our treasure. Um, Octavia fell to, to the Horned King. You see this horrible flash in your mind. Uh, the great tree of Arcadia that you saw from the game, plummeting into the water, cracking and rotting, it's simultaneously engulfed in fire, and overall you see the giant rotting skull of a deer head uh, with the big damage. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, just 10 um, to damage. Mm. Uh, mm. As you feel white hot anger erupting from this thing, as you say, I'll take your Can I fight the influence? He doesn't need to be an influence, it just seems to be talking to you. You're, you feel as though you're in control, you feel like you could shut this living yeah. time you want. Um, you also feel like you can talk back to it. Oh, can I, can I say, um, who are you? Answer. I've given you my name. Give me yours. Uh, you see it says, you could not hang me. <laughs> I should be it. <laughs> oh. You this, see it then says, <laughs> there is something familiar in your blood. Ooh. Give it to me. Ooh. Oh, As you no, feel no. just slightly your hand stretching. No, no. Sword. Can I close the... You close it, uh, the implants are completed. Uh, it's been two hours. Holy shit. So while Mordred's downstairs having a nice little chat, uh, what's everyone else up to? I... Marido so... would be keeping a look at just to make sure like, if, if any creature does uh, like, yeah, kind you of coming. Keep a watch careful watch on the waters of the sun because higher and higher in the sky. I'd have gone back via the library. Mm. What would I have... I wouldn't have interrupted Mordred mm-hmm. if Mordred's doing something stupid. Yeah. But what would I have seen? Uh, you would have just seen Mordred looking in the chest with the, with the thing. Oh. I'd have rolled my eyes inside my mask and gone up onto mm-hmm. the deck to look for my puffer fish. Mm. Not for Big B, just for my puffer fish. Yeah, absolutely. So you can all take a rest, you can all heal up. Um, it's about three hours Not after the fight. Uh, no, you can still take a rest. Well, oh, actually, sorry, I'm so sorry, don't take a rest if you haven't. Has anyone taken a rest? No. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can all take one then to be healed. Um, you. Not that my rest really destroys so. So about three and a bit hours after five, who's up on the top deck? Where is it? I am. Have this, is after the chat. this is after your chat. You're all I'm up this box. I would be, is, is there like a telescope or spyglass or whatever? Yeah, like I've got a spyglass with the dog. I would, yeah, borrow that just to see mm-hmm. if can. Can I just wander on it? Yeah, sure. Um, I got to you and I'd say, um, what, what, what? What stupid what thing did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the orb. It it spoke to me. It I, I I felt its pain. It's it's something to do with Arcadia. It's primordial. It's uh, a magic I have not known before. Certainly, it did significant damage to the elf. Very twisted in a way I don't well, recognize. So the light starts to kind of fade away. Mm-hmm. And you hear the sounds of seagulls. <laughs> um, and it goes completely black as the sun is going out. And you see a barnacle fold on the deck in front of you. Mm. And follow her. Barnacles are bad. Up above you is the largest ship you have ever seen. Flying through the air. As you see, Henry Tinkle runs up from the bottom of the deck and says, Ah, he's singing. As you see, ropes coming off the edge of his. You are in a galley, so 120 feet. Mm. This thing is a colossal warship. It's four times the size of yours. It's absolutely enormous. I say to Henry Tinkle, silence him. Mm -hmm. Um, You see, he pulls out his truncheon, runs. (laughs) 
uh, you see the crew start tapping in time. Yeah. You see the ropes come down, uh, and then another set of ropes as a bunch of sailors coming from the I ship s- far above. I say to Mordred, this is what happens when you're nice to people. I'm sorry. Can we set the rope on fire? Uh, you, you can try. It, you're not going to have a lot of time. So, you, so what's going to happen is they all in one unison. They're all yeah. in sync. Then we will all get a go. So on their first turn, they swing down, grappling hooks go over the ship, and then some larger ropes are tossed uh, kind of under the balustrade near the strong mast. And you see they start sinking. She's a rusted hull with creaking innards. Can you draw them action? <laughs> can, I, can I draw my sword and shield? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you see they're just held on ropes, throwing grapple hooks, some of them kind of climb on board. There's a there's a lot more of them in the last fight. Does you this look hostile? Very hostile. They look Fine. a lot more seasoned than the last sailors. Okay. There's about 20 meters. Another am not going to put it's all around the ship. I am I am going to um, hold a th- reaction mm-hmm. harm when they hit 30 feet sure. to take as many of them as possible when they hit 30 feet. Mm-hmm. You see they uh, tie the ropes together uh, and you see they then uh, start climbing back the ropes in the line, it's the same as the next line. Rope by rope will haul them windwards. Oh, shit. This is what happens when you save people, Mordred. You see the belly of the ship above you opens like a large wooden door as you hear uh, all of the pirates on the ship far above you calling out the last line, haul and drag. You see a bunch of weights are tossed off the top, and your ship is just plucked out of the water, flying up the <laughs> as they pull you from the ocean. So it's been alien abducted into a flying yeah, ship. Into a flying ship. Sweet. Absolutely. Thanks, Morgan! It's not my fault! Yes, it is! It's totally your fault! No, 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 oh, no, no, let no, me no, look at no, my no, dying no, wife! No, I'm no, dying! No, let me look at my wife! Oops! It's not my fault, I don't have much experience with clade folk, they're all so deceptive! <laughs> You're just Mordred. too nice, Mordred. Mordred. Just kill them so they're dead. Or just don't let them do anything when there are death stars. These things might be This is, this is literally the conversation going on as we're yeah, going yeah, up yeah, through the air. Yeah, um, you're, all, you're, all, you're also like knocked down, pinned to the bottom with the yeah, first weapon. Nice there's nothing else we could do, we're just blaming Mordred. All and drag. Um... <laughs> Uh, this, um, it's, fine. it's very clear this is way beyond energy to kind of fight against this. Mm-hmm. You're welcome to have a fight if you like. No. It's pretty clear that this is well rehearsed. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, you are pulled into this. The belly of the mm. ship closes. Mm. Uh, it's dark except for some lights. Pirates are swinging on ropes. You see they grab you all off one by one. There's bags put on heads. You're pulled about. Um, your stuff is gone. Oh, uh, God. Take it Trust the DM moment. This is, I promise you, coming. Stuff could, we, could we have slipped the map like inside our internal place? Yeah, for sure. I thought the map was up on the, the table. I'm going to say the map's still in the office. Yeah. I'm going to say you would have a reason to No, because we left it with the navigator. Yeah, there. fair enough. The yeah. map's in the office. Um, you see you're pulled about, um, and then about ten minutes later, you are all pushed, uh, and you can hear lots of people moving about. This is an enormous ship. There's like seven levels. It's absolutely huge. You've moved about it quite a bit. You can you know, hear and smell the different things. You go through different rooms. Uh, lots of people are something very crowded. Uh, and you then see you know, a bit more light coming through the bag as it is pulled off your heads. It's all five of you. Uh, Henry Tuchel is missing. Uh, mm-hmm. The uh, financier is missing as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you and the navigator are all put on the deck. As you can see, the Captain's cabin, the large office at the back of his ship, about 30 feet feet away from him. Uh, as you see, truly hundreds of pirates on the deck of his ship all sitting around you. Oops. Are we up in the sky, currently? You are mm-hmm. up in the sky. So you're also uh, clouds moving around you, and that you see flocks of seagulls moving mm-hmm. about. Uh, ships moved away. You can feel in your stomach that it's moving. 
I just say, I, I don't think I want the grim ocean anymore. Uh, as you see, a particularly uh, portly uh, pirate. Don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Red enemy. Uh, <gasps> as you see, he says, um, as you see, he looks over. A uh, portly pirate with a red beanie? A portly pirate with a red beanie, yes. <laughs> uh, as you see, he says, um, now, which of you is in charge? <laughs> um, but it, it, it's more of a democratic structure. Uh, a democratic structure. Uh, and you see several of the parts chuckle and elbow themselves. A union, you may say. <laughs> a union. We have a union, don't we, boys? There's a bit of a chuckle and he says, mm. a union of any traitors in the ground. There's no laughter. No, no one will them. Mm. I could join that kind of union, to be fair. Oh, they want to join the union. Okay. A traitor, a, your a, union, just a union like yours. Yeah, traitors in the ground sounds yeah. like an excellent plan. You see, he, he, he says, either way, I think they'll need to meet the captain. Uh, you see, the pirates then start banging weapons against the ground. So they all start chanting something over and over again. And at first, it's hard to make out because they're all out of time. As they then synchronize, and you hear hook, hook, <laughs> hook, 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 hook. You see the shadowy doors of the cabin in front of you, a glint of metal at first, as a very tall man in a bright red coat and a feathered hat with a metal hook for a hand comes running out uh, into the light. So many copyright breaches. So many copyright infringements. <laughs> Oh. It's like once upon a time all over again. A great yeah. chant from the pirates as he finally emerges. Ah! As he gets up, uh, takes that, it's a very flamboyant <laughs> bow to one side of the ship, a very flamboyant bow to the other, puts the hat back on, uh, walks over towards you. Your, uh, your hands aren't bad, there's no lots of pirates about, but one behind each of you, kind of like hand on your shoulder. Um, as you see, he well, looks over each of you in turn, uh, but doesn't say anything. Hmm. Hi there. Um, where where the Myth Makers Union? <laughs> well, as someone who's made a myth or two myself, I can appreciate that. Not so very strange group, you know. You don't look like seafaring folk. Oh, I, I. Uh... I come for the scurvy and the wounds. I I must say I am very impressed at your accessory there. You can see he it is a nasty. It's like a fisherman's hook, huge barb at the end, twisted mm. metal, um, sort of thing you could like you know deflect a sword with quite easily. Very nasty piece of material. Now this a token of sadder times, but we make do with what we have. A beautiful piece of craftsmanship. Um, Can I just ask the DM? Mm. Did Nick Jones ever mention? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to try any token yeah. we have here. Um, we, um, we're, we're friends of Nick's. Nick. Nick, Nick Jones. You, oh, that's the. Oh, yeah. how is the book? When we saw him last, he was fine. Mm. In dreams, drinking, happy. Good, good, good. That sounds like a lie. We'll have to swing by and pick him up later. But now, on to business. Business? Business, yes, business. Oh. Uh, and you see uh, the other pirate being walks over the clipboard. You see, he says, You have upon you but two options. <laughs> uh, you can shake this hand. Or you can shake this. What's the difference? One, you join the crew, if only until you're not stop. The other, you see, he points over towards the bank on the side of the ship. Uh, yeah. What is required of us if we join the crew until our next stop? You work amongst us, you uh, eat your portions, you don't steal from your crewmates or brawl with them, you follow directions, and generally you. Why do you want us on your crew? You're a strange lot, and you know my name. Aww. And you will allow us to leave at next port? 
Absolutely. Where's the next port? Oh, day away, two days away. We'll stop in White Shell. You know, White Shell is just near the sky. Yep. Um, is this? Can I roll inside? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you see, then says there is but one other room. Ah, uh, yeah. No one other than I am ever to enter that room or the rooms that walk back to the other person. Is it, and no one else from the ship we were on is here. Uh, the navigators with you? I, uh, don't see Squire Trelawney to find us. Can I ask, where's the rest of our crew? So he says, mutineers died a mutineer's death. And as for... You killed them? Yes. And as Excellent for choice. Fancy pants, eh, as for <laughs> fancy pants, we thought he'd better stay with his very fine ship. Just drifting in the wilderness. No, they're in the belly of the ship. Oh, yeah. oh, we put him back. Oh. Excellent choice. I want to know if you want to die. Perfect. Uh, hey, well, that's what happens when you speculate. 28. 28. Um, anything uh, to I speculate he's going to die on the well, ship. Well, I just make sure that he's <laughs> telling the truth that we can actually leave the ship at the next port and yeah. like, leave the crew. With a 28, you're getting no lead on this one. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <sighs> okay. Do you have any need for a sore bones? <laughs> Medical folk are always needed. He offers you his left arm. Yeah, I shake some. Yeah. Um, you reach out, shake his hand. No magical thing yeah, happens. No. It's a Work for anyone, mate. handshake. Um, you shake hands. Um, you see next to you is uh, the navigator, Dr. Lively. You see Cook looks up to him and says, You look like an intelligent man. You can keep your curiosity to yourself as whatever lies on the last floor of this ship. You can make good use of your services. You see, he kind of, he kind of glances to you, glances to Mordred, who's next in line. Do you give him a nod to shake anything like that? Um, I, I, I nod at him and go, mm. There will be lots of injuries. As you see, Cook says, we can promise that. <laughs> and you see, he very nervously kind of shakes his hand. <laughs> you see, as he does, you see, he's lifted up by the parchments from you two, Griselle. Uh, Mordred, you're next in line. <laughs> I kind of... What um, do you think, lad? Could you sail under our flag for a moment? To protect my friends, yes. As good a reason as any. And then looks at you for the wrong hand. Uh, much better. <laughs> Mordred absolutely does, because he doesn't know convention. Well, he's shaking with his left. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, he's a scout. Double double. Um, you see, next to the line, he says, hmm, um, which? My. Fantastic. I and my cup. I'll be fine serving your fine crew. Excellent. He's even got the voice. She's even got the voice. Holds out her. Bye. Wonderful. And lastly, comes along to Merida. So Why do I get her old? I'm terribly sorry, my dear. Have we met? Ooh. 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 You have no memory of meeting this man. You probably would. I don't think you probably. Mm. Right, very well then. Can you use that bow? Absolutely. Excellent. We didn't know your seagull swatter, our last one. <laughs> well, so they missed very badly. I will try and endeavour my best, and I will attempt to bleed the red Wonderful. Hands up, you see, he says, very good. You see, he points you this time with the hook. No brawling, no stealing. Do what he tells you, uh, points to the being a pirate. Stay out of my cabin, stay off the lower floor. Is that where. So is the ship so that we were on. So ship sounds like they've put the ship back to what you said. Oh, okay. um, but this is a big, like, seven or eight, he's just saying, stay off the lowest yeah. floor. So we can't go into the captain's cabin or the world. Yes. Yeah, we'll see what this is. And we'll have a wonderful time and you can depart at uh, the White Shoal if you like. Otherwise, uh, we are heading further south beyond that to have other arrangements. Where are you headed? 
You see, he says, oh, and you see kind of south, southeast. We tend to go where it fits. We're going to go back. You see, there's kind of talk amongst the crew, like giggling sort of thing. You see, he says, ah, we were there not long ago. Uh, what was that sneak? One month, two, and you see, uh, uh, two and a half, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> and you see, there's, boys, what say we visit the, the great temple there again? There's a raucous laugh, a good something. Says, indeed, to go back we shall go. Go back to is go there, back. We... Is there anything to go back to? <laughs> there won't be by the time we're there. You see, he says, wonderful! Uh, surprise, surprise, you have to go a second time to do that. I should have done that the first time. Right, you lots, back to work. So you get the new ones fitted in. And then turns, returns to his cabin. The doors close. There's beautiful pink stained glass on the uh, windows and the doors to it. You can't see through them. Uh, and with that, the strange man is gone <laughs> and you have all agreed to serve aboard the jolly roger Woo! Okay. nick um, would absolutely want us to serve aboard the jolly roger oh, absolutely. absolutely you see he seems very calm about the fact that nick, nick is just kind of off and about yeah i mean look he didn't seem like best dad so i don't know how concerned he is for his kids well-being oh, only that you can see um the jolly roger is he dad or foster uncle I think it would be a So you're all going I love to... how we've just jumped tracks from Treasure Treasure Island to Peter Pan. Getting all the pirates right now. Um, <laughs> so, uh, more pirates! Do you want to finish at 10? Yes, please. 10 we can do? Absolutely. Sorry, just kind of so, so tired from the No, no worries. Um, so the next two days aboard the Jolly Roger are going to go pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Um, Emma, you are sort of, uh, sorry, Drizella, you're sort of, they've mm. not had a doctor for the last bit of time. So a lot of, like, old injuries, infections. Excellent. A lot of pirates saying things like, does this look infected to you? And oh, chop it off. Yeah. Enormous green growth on them. Yep. Um, I look for things to amputate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Uh, Sibylla, you are, sorry, uh, Merida, Other you're bridges. shooting down Everybody exactly gets so up in the process with a huge <laughs> yeah. stack of arrows. You notice the arrows are from many different makes and places, um, and just you know, just shoot down the thousands of seagulls that fly with this great ship. Yep. Um, Sibylla, you're taken aboard, uh, which they give you a pile of magic items and magic treasure, Ooh. and a little book, and a little thing of labels, and say, okay. label yeah, the thing, okay. write it in the book, write <laughs> what it does. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing amazing in there. There's a lot of like semi. Am I just kind of in a room going through it all? Pretty much. You're in. You're in like the closest thing to an office. So it's like you know, there's a there's a uh, a wonky chair. There's a bench on the wall, and then there's a pen with two goats next to it. All right, and I'll let Sean just sleep on the desk. Yeah, you. absolutely. Uh, as you're going along, uh, marking out items. Uh, Mordred, you're set up as a general sailor, so you're given okay. a lot of awful jobs. Right. Um, you are scrubbing decks, you are sewing sails. Just because I'm a young lad. Actually, you can sew, can't you? Yeah, I can. You're sewing sails. Oh, lovely. Um, <laughs> Basie Sleeper I... has <laughs> this conversation. Can I say, as I'm sewing them, I'm adding little embroidered details into them? Just little pirate ships, maybe a little kraken. The, the maker's mark. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. I was going to say, everybody who comes down for an injury gets either a peg leg or a hook. Cool. It's like, you they're all getting accepted. No matter what they're coming down with. Well, you Pretty much. too thick. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I pull, all, no, I I pull all the remaining there. teeth out. So there's there's gappy teeth, and then there's <laughs> amputations, and that's literally it. Amputate your face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I said, "Lionel's headache, doctor." Um, <laughs> I know exactly the cure. Skin. Anybody um, boring goes to lives. When you know, I do, I do major surgery, and um, send them all up with you know, really rough looking, sort of mm. not fancy hooks like Captain Hook. Uh, the Jolly Roger is this enormous ship. Yeah. You see the at the end of the mast uh, is a giant wooden penguin. It is the boat's figurehead. Um, uh, as you nice. And as you go through the rest of that day, I won't make you roll or anything for your activities you're kind of doing your work. Mechanically, you're earning an income and then paying that to get transport. Yeah. Um, and, working out. Trip. You're working a trip. You're earning your trip. You're earning your trip. Oh, it's um, like in terrain. At the end of the first day, though, as you're all going to sleep, there are way too many pirates on the ship, so you're in like hammocks, you're on uh, hay on the floor, just whatever you can 
the spot really. You're sleep in the office somewhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the goats. Can everyone give me a perception check? Uh, Merida, Mordred, <gasps> and Sibylla, you can all add two. I got a nat 20 for a 30. I also got a nat 20. I also got a nat 20. Wow! Oh! <laughs> God says all of you should Chris, know this plot. Chris. Wow. Know. No, it makes up for my terrible role. We're about to be here. As God, that never happened. Floor, all of you are on the boat. Maybe if you scroll from the station. Right, so that's your 20 for a 20. As I'm there and boiling on the boat. <laughs> it's late, late at night. Okay, um, sorry, the rest, the rest of the ship is asleep. Long. They've put the rest of the lights out. You hear resonating through the body of the ship. This steady... Tum, 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 tum. Not increasing in speed or anything. Where does uh, it take the time from? The ship itself seems to be making noise. You have to get somewhere deep in the bowels. Maybe the bottom of the I'll probably nudge the others. Do you hear that? And with a natural 20, you also hear us quietly, far away in this world, this ship somewhere, the sounds of many different creatures. Oh no, that's, <laughs> oh no, that, that's a weakness. And I will tell you again, since you all got twins, <laughs> you know it's coming from the bottom most of it. Is that the room where you said not to go? Or yeah, that's yeah. the room where you said not to go. <laughs> that's what, the one of two places we're not supposed to go. Yeah. Indeed. Is that the other one? Vanessa? His office. Yep. The captain's office. Can I send my finger with that? Uh, you can, uh, you can me. You send the light down, it gets to a big wooden door that is latched, it's not locked, but it's latched, and there's an enormous picture of a skull and a large hook embedded in the skull. Uh, you really can't get through the door. We need to help whatever's down there, we can't let them suffer in pain. I'll also actually tell you, uh, visibly, there's a big string tied to the top door against a pipe. I didn't get an at 20, I just got a dirty 20, so I heard the ticking. You heard the ticking, but not the rest. And um, quite happily lying in my hammock and letting these three figure out feeling I, I get up and I say, terrible, I get up. terrible <laughs> about <laughs> awful things. <laughs> I'm like, this is quite relaxing. Mm. It's ticking. You need to get up. Can I tip the, um, <laughs> tip the hammock? <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely all. Would that be clusters fighting? That's getting bloody close. <laughs> Actually, in fact, it, the rule wouldn't have been no brawling. It's no brawling without consent. <laughs> Valid. And probably like so that's that's without consent. Like consensual fisticuffs on the air. That was a without oh, consent. You agree? <laughs> I agree. Do you agree? Yes, very good. I'll say, please, just help us once. <laughs> <laughs> just this much it's not like we've asked you every other time I, I go help us what release some call that goes out to a giant sky pirate ship what that kind of help us help us save the guys who we should have just fucking killed and then we would have sailed where we were supposed to be going what exactly would you like me to help you do now? Free the injured animals. Since when has helping anything hurt done us any favours so far? It's not about doing things for favours. It's just about helping people for the sake of helping. Can I tell if it's a you helped the last people and we got yeah. abducted yeah. into a sky pirate ship. Well, not every time you help someone you succeed, but sometimes <laughs> you'll help someone and they'll help you in return. You have woken me up and thrown me on the floor to help heal and free injured things because that's worked really well for us oh, on the high seas. I'll grab your Zella's like cloak and stuff that you don't have on yet. I'll throw it onto your um, chest and I'll say, I know you've got a good heart, just come with us. <laughs> and then I'll make off. Oh, you're all giving your stuff back as well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Drizella takes all of her side. surgical my, equipment. My, my. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you promise that if I find things down there that I can put out of their misery, that is an option. If that's the most merciful choice. Excellent. I'll join. 
You're heading down to the lower deck? Yeah. Uh, so as as we go down, I go, is this not where we were specifically told not to go? Yes. I don't know. Like, maybe we were told not to go there because he's harming people or creatures or anything. Almost certainly, but... <laughs> I mean, he has a hook. Hmm? Yeah. So we're ignoring the rule that we signed up and agreed to well, about your... not going down here <laughs> in order to heal stuff that we don't know what it is. I'll say at this point, by this point, we're down we're at the door. Yeah. Big painted sign, big skull with a crack in it, big be... hook being extracted. Now I know we're keeping... Watch. Come on, Drizella. When you ever it, the door is one to follow the rules. Trip at the bottom, thin at the top. Don't tell me you didn't do what your uh, mum told you not to do. Does this is the skull and <laughs> thingy like a? It's like a warning. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a dangerous death. Yeah, so like okay. <laughs> I always did exactly what my mother asked me to do. Uh, <laughs> can we tell if the door is still <laughs> Uh, I did. She wasn't very nice. This is magical. When you said Drizella did die, uh, yeah. was a bit of a moment. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. Very much. So, uh, Emma, have your kids seen Descendants? 23. Uh, 23. Uh, 23. Don't think it's a set of movies on Disney Monday movies, but it's like the children. Yeah, the yeah. Good quality. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because one of them is images right, right in there at the moment. One, I, I one of them's the daughter of Drizella. What's your plan? We, Big door, trip one at the bottom, another rope at the top. Can we roll to see if we would be able to figure out how to disarm the trap? Can you use a crafting check to be able to disarm it? Low DC, so uh, 20 for the crafting yeah. will tell you what seven. it does, 20, uh, 30 will tell you how to disarm it. Yeah, roll up a 7. Uh, 3 under that, or 4 under that, so I've got 7. Cool. Let's see, I can summon a lesser servitor. Can we summon Epidu? <laughs> <laughs> I will say also, you can just open the door. No. Not when it's got that many traps. Two traps, a trip one. Can I detect the magic? Yeah. Uh, you detect magic. Um, there's magic behind this door, absolutely in the whole of it. But you also see there's magic just kind of traveling through the doors of this street. Coming in waves. I mean, this is like a whole what if this is where the ship is lying? And if we stop this, then the ship's. We're all going to die if we stop this because the ship will fall out of the sky. Yeah, that's just. I'm just really quite a bit like, release it, something that can summon it and help us with this. Are there any gaps in this door? None whatsoever. It's like a vault. DC 30. Craft check to try to disarm it. DC 20 will tell you what it does. 10 is a critical failure, so as long as you roll more than 10, you don't set off the trap at all. <laughs> if you go to disarm it. Guessing is free. Yeah. Does nobody have. Someone's got crafting. Chris beat me when we need him with his architect. I got crafting. Crafting, wonderful. Chris, you want to make that check then. Go for a crafting check. Okay. Would anyone like to help Chris? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, that's better. Success, that's plus one. Right, so that is 14 in total. 14 in total. Um, you can't tell exactly what it does. You suspect that this tripwire um, will trigger some sort of uh, mm -hmm. like whistle sort of sound, mm -hmm. and the other thing you suspect leads to like a bell or a bauble or something. It's more of an alert. I it's think. an alert. I think so. Sorry. Um, forgive me. Mm -hmm. But I was reading that. What do we need to pass in order to disarm? DC 30. 30 check to disarm it. DC 20 knows exactly what it is. Are the the wires connected to the door, or is it? They put or on are the they door. just trip wires? Trip wires. So there's a there's a pull so mechanism. So if we open the door but not you step on the wire, we would be. Do we do? We would, would that be like a dexterity for the phone? Uh, you would set off the. Um, we would set the top one off. You'd set the top one off, which you think is connected, which kind of the string you suspect is kind of tripped out. Can we try and find the bell? Yeah, for sure. You can look around the ship and try and find the bell. Yeah. 
Um, you follow the stream. Yeah, absolutely. You follow the stream. You go back through the way you came, go up a couple of levels. Correct? You go, oh, it's, it's here, sort of like this place and this room, the next level. Um, and make you sure see... before we exit this level, we would poke our head out and make sure there's nobody. Yeah, but right, look, there's people it. around, but like it's not. There's like a cleaning cupboard nearby this door and stuff. It's not like you're in a yeah. secret area. The door stops you there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you eventually go to like the second to top floor and go, oh, this pops up in the next office. So we're going to go Wouldn't it just be a big Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Do you want to trap her in the street? Oh, no, because that might trigger it as well. That's, DC that's 20 what I was thinking. Yeah. You can try rolling. Is that a DC 20 crafting check? DC 20 crafting check. Could do that. May I recommend that you will take a health action? Yeah. Yes. I'll try. That's definitely not going to cost. What's the health action? Three. That's a fail? 15. Oh, I was that's surprised. That's a success. Oh. I thought Chris would be the player because they have. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, well, that's I, with, even without the health action, that's 22. Uh, I two, died. 23. I wouldn't help, I would guide. Nothing? That's guide. Cool. Guide 24 is enough to know that cutting the thing will absolutely work. Oh, it works. Work. It works. Yeah. Set the thing off. Cutting the thing will, it works it. will not set off the one. Awesome. Oh, let's just cut okay. through that. Mm-hmm. Summon scissors. You've got a knife or something. You very carefully cut the string. Yeah. They'll obviously notice you've cut the string. Yeah. I mean, but we'll cut it close to the door downstairs where they won't notice it. Okay. You cut it close to the door. Um, yes, yeah, so actually, sees actually, can I do a thing? When we cut the string, can I pin it to the wall so it stays taut? So it doesn't look like from hooks on Yeah, so it's like it's not. Yeah. Give me a crafting check. Uh, hang on, let me give you <laughs> Do you want me to do the crafting check? I got plus 11 for crafting. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of crafting stuff here. So, uh, DC 25 will make this hold up for visual inspection. 35 will be they look at it closely. All right, that's that's the uh, 29. 29? 16 to help. A 22 to help. 30, 31. So, can't quite get there, but it'll hold up to a quick look. Yeah. So if someone walks past, they're going to go, oops, you're all good. It'll just be someone yeah. coming along. Is the track safe? It's the best way to have this stage. Yeah, because, yeah if we're doing that down close to the door and nobody's supposed to be down here anyway, then us. it should still appear to for the rest of the ship. Yep. Is that what we're trying to accomplish? Mm. So that it's cut down near the door, but the string for the rest mm. of the ship... You cut the ship, still hold it to us, you open the door yeah. and hang it? Yes. But let's, there was another thing. thing. Tripwire down the bottom to step up. Oh, yes, okay, step over the tripwire. The open the door, you step over the tripwire very carefully, close the door behind you. Then, I wouldn't close the door fully, Nerd, I would want to leave a small gap so that we can peek in and watch. And I'll door. activate my thousand vision when I'm walking so I can mm-hmm. see any hidden creatures or concealed creatures. Nice. You see uh, hidden or concealed? Um, Sorry. No, no, you're fine. This um, wording matters quite a bit there. The visions grant you subtle details of your immediate surroundings within 50 feet. You don't need to succeed in a flat check to target a concealed creature. You're not off guard for creatures. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, you see stairs going down and are about two or three steps down uh, a parrot that is invisible. Like, no one can see it. You see the parrot looks over to you and starts taking a breath. Hi, friend. Uh, How loudly are you that, Hang on, I just turned into Antoinette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. I was thinking that was wrong character. Wrong character. Wrong character. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do. Turn me? back. Turn back. Why should we turn back? Turn back. Turn back. It's quite loud. Yeah. I'm. St- I'm. I'm. St- I've not crossed the. Oh, the threshold. Uh, I've not. Across the I threshold, I'm just side. standing, yeah, for sure. listening to this thing. Would um, I see that? Sorry. No, go on. With, are they ghosts? No, it's just a parrot that's been turned into. Oh, no. Right. Once, right. so more than I'm going to assume you point the parrot out for a bit. Yeah, of course. You can all tell that the parrot there, that's kind of translucent. Mm-hmm. Uh, it sounds like it's um, going to just it goes into yeah, the same yeah. thing. Yeah, hang on. Turn back. Turn back. Silence it. Kill it. Can I just shoot the parrot? Absolutely. Yes. Can I just shoot? Uh, it's pointed out to you, Ken. I'm sending a rat down. 
Uh, just 25 to hit. Just to right. hit. I feel like I should be getting advantage for birds now because I've been uh, shooting so many seagulls. I like that. We'll so. say that cancels out the fact that it's visible. This you makes... go in, you kill the parrot. Is it a live parrot? Yeah. It's a parrot with an invisible spell. Now it's a dead parrot. With 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 a dead parrot. Far out. <laughs> stairs go down. Oh, you see a little bit of light above the stairs. I'm now, sending. I'm sending. A, I'm sending a rat there. Yeah. Now you send the rat. <laughs> walks down. Rat runs back the other way. Uh oh. Is Sean walking with me? Yeah, Sean's with you. Okay. Scared. Scared. I don't think we should do that. Even the rat's scared. Yes, we should. So either the ship is sinking, or there's something really bad down there. At this level, you can just hear the ticking. Very loud, very bonded. So there's. There is something sound. magical in here. Yeah, definitely. Just down the stairs to the left. That it was a good and the rat's scared bad. of it. We didn't get it. The rat it. didn't I like it. Now that we're inside, can we get a better feel? Walk me okay. through how you get a feel of something towards the tree. If you like, clerics can do that with if mm-hmm. they take the feet, but none of you have it. Mm-hmm. So, you know. I walk with down the vibe with check my feet. feet. You walk down with your eyes. Oh you my turn the goodness. Corner, you see a very large room, somewhat like a zoo. There is one thing in the middle of the room and all around the corners, glass cages. In the glass cages, you see a range of animals, uh, fey, plants, lots of small, little, glowing uh, people about, you know, a couple of inches high, very bright colors with the wings. Uh, most of them uh, not magnified, but sitting on the ground, they look to be in kind of prisons, they're rags, there's paper, they have water, bread. Um, a few others have strange little goblin type creatures. Um, they all have their kind of brass wires tied around them with bits of light flash along it. And in the mm, middle of the room down. is a crocodile the size of a house uh, with you know that from the enormous piece. brass tights in its back leading up to the ship. And you see the crocodiles which making that ticking noise as the pipes shake and tighten. Does it look like it's in pain? It looks a very yes, it looks very in pain. It's a kind of you know, occasionally it's like a <laughs> sigh of pain, but for the most part sits there unable to move. And and they're all fey creatures. They seem to all they definitely all magic. Mm-hmm. Are you convinced we need to help people now? This. Drizella's still this up top of the stairs. In the she... mm. I've not come down the stairs. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if anybody dies. Mm. But it doesn't look like there's too much. There's, you don't immediately see the traps, you don't see any. There's no other way in here. It's a little locked door. There's a couple of rooms off from this one. I call down. Is Bigby there? No. Right, go back to bed then. No, you need to come down. <laughs> you see, in one case, the only, uh, only, only cases there is an empty or contained animal of some sort. There's what looks like a long strap of leather. Leather? Hmm. Oh, yeah, can I borrow it? It's got a metal glass on it. Yeah. Is it for whipping? No, it looks like it would be like a holster or something. Like a scabbard, maybe? Uh, you look at it and you recognise the uh, gold inscriptions and that shows on the scabbard. Which, if you remember, was missing the, at the yeah. shoulder band. But usually on the scabbard, it seems to be a good thing. Can I open this? Yeah, you can open it. Hang on, can I check the trap first? Oh, uh, yeah. Give us a uh, Uber check. Check the traps. Um, you see, the, the cages themselves are. 18. 18. You're relatively confident there's no traps, but it is locked. Yep. Mm. You can try to pick a lock, but I'm not sure if you want to trust the Uber. Yeah, I can see. Um, my friend Mordred. I, I got busted in the thievery. I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you all. This is the. This is. We know that was the scabbard of the spell right here. Uh, of. One of them. That's 25. That's pretty good. Yes, that is the. 
and set it at sort of 25. Mm -hmm. You get the first of three tumbles, you've got to hit a couple more checks to get it open. Um, as long as nothing happens, you can hit those pretty easily though. Do you want to keep rolling? Yeah. It's only three. Ooh. And that one. Yep. Uh, I love big breaks in that. Okay, we've got more important things to do. Yep. You've got, if, I, I will say, if you spend 10 minutes, you can just practice your turn. And they're not difficult lots, they're just... I think I we can do it with more pressing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Mordred. You see, as you walk in, some of the, the fairies and the sprites in that conversation fly up to the uh, glass or bar cages. Looking at you. Mm. Uh, like a baby. Doesn't read fate to you immediately. Yeah. Mm. Um, as you look at it and you look into its eyes, you see it looks back at you and you get just a flash of moon. Uh, you see the bear you saw as a child. Mm. More than what I'm concerned about the and we know uh, damage to the how bad yeah. this situation yeah. is. I am also um, understanding from looking at it using my crafting ability. Others were these more creatures seem to be powering this whole ship. Swim. If we were to disrupt that right now, it could send us further into the ground. I guess it's a risk we need to take. We can't Is it? Do we need to do it right now? Mm. I'm with you. We can we should free these on them, these creatures. Um or, so no, we can't but, just keep prolonging their suffering. Could we not just prolong we're, it till we get to port? Well, they're going to find what they're going to do. Remember, the crocodile is a decent thing. Marido, Marido will try. I'd rather not die ourselves. Sorry. Sorry. If these two, if, I know we want to free these creatures, but if we free them, we're all going to crash and die. And then it's in vain. But if we leave now, we're going to get found. They're going to realize what we did. We're not going to have another chance to free them. Well, if we free them now, we're all going to die. Yeah. How do we know we're all going to die? Because we're 4,000 feet in the <laughs> air. And we are going to crash into the ground. And we're all taken her rat so we're and gone back to yeah. bed. Give me an occultism check to see what the actual like mechanics of holding Yeah. Also, you know both of if you go from five minutes, that's correct. Yeah. Let's say history point. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, hero point. Hero point. Yeah, use your hero point. <laughs> or you can use it wrong. That's a bit better. That would be a 29. 29. Um, you, yeah, one, you can two, take two, a couple of minutes start. to work out how this works. Yeah. Um, you go look. Um, this is not a constant supply of magic to keep the ship. You suspect if you unplug all this, the ship would have enough mana, uh, residual energy to hold it up for ooh, an hour or two. Maybe. We have to. Mordred doesn't. Ah. Would you tell us? It sounds great because they're like all not great creatures. Hey. They're not mm -hmm. on the traditional moral spectrum. They're not humans. They're not creatures. They're mm -hmm. old. They're old. Yeah. While you two are having that discussion, mm -hmm. at some point, Merida would, would pipe up and say, um, This is the Beast of the Shallows. He's been missing for quite some time. I'm not sure if we should free him, but I'm also not sure if he should be kept as captured. I, I don't think it's the domain of mortals to meddle with these great creatures. He's Most great definitely not. I agree, mm -hmm. but. To have something like this beast captured in such a way takes no easy feat. Well, here's the situation, guys. Somehow I'm talking Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like can't it. get I my accent it. right. Uh, yeah. I apologize for that. That's fine. You like migrating. Yeah. Well, to be fair, we've gone a long way up in the air. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, it's a lack of oxygen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Make me Irish. What? <laughs> if we free these. I, by looking at the mechanics of this, I can see that this would probably take us about an hour we've got I'm at so most to point. land this craft oh, yeah, if we get rid of, if we free the creatures. Then what are we waiting for? Hey, let me finish. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being assertive because <laughs> I just don't want to die. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So, Probably. if we, yes, that's Drizella's on. Drizella's gone back to bed. Oh, she's, she's taken back the back. rat who was Wait, rightly really? scared. Zella's yeah. Scared. Zella, I messaged in your head. And you I don't know where I've gone. You don't know where I've gone. I never. I know you've gone. Pretty storeroom. I never went down the stairs. I never I entered the, the small room. Yeah, all right. All right. She, she's if not with us right now. Yeah. She can. She can know if she wants. Uh, Mordred can know. Mordred um, would have um, been like saying to you from the moment he got into the room. Come on, Drizella. Come in here. Come on, please. You gotta help. Come on. Just, 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 what, just right. one more time, please. Mordred, <laughs> there's a difference between <laughs> good intentions <laughs> and smart intentions. If we were to free these creatures, we have an hour to, for us to take the ship uh, and make rem- eliminate the pirates and then land the ship safely. Who says these bait creatures couldn't help us? Well, it's up to you to convince them then. Very you harsh. see this bubbling black ooze with one red eye uh, forms five fingered hand and places it against the glass. Uh, and the mouth opens up and says, I will help. Is it speaking in Aquilo? It speaks in Nequil. Oh. oh, sorry, yeah, Aquilo. Oh, it Aquil. speaks in Dark Side. What, what is it saying to me? I will help. I will eat that skin. You don't need to eat that skin. We I can help do. without. Okay, well, maybe we can find help elsewhere. Um... Well, so now you don't want to free <laughs> I was yeah. going to. I was yes. going to say, uh, uh, at this, Drizella absolutely goes, Mordred, you can't be selective. If you're not going to help the <laughs> nice, helpful creatures, the, including the ones that like skin, well, I don't know where I stand on that. Your morals appear to be... Your, your morals appear to be all over the place. I'm going back to bed. The man with the hook has done me no harm. Have you seen how many people need their arms and legs amputating on this ship? Do these creatures not look in pain? They don't. Would you let me amputate things? But neither to happen. Because I only ever asked that more I shut down says, does anything in there need... need no, I call out to Mordred. Does anything... Mordred saying, um, do these creatures not need help? And I'm like, is there anything down there that looks like it needs a limb amputating? <laughs> because I've got like a whole infirmary full of like injured sailors. Like I'm having good? a whale of a time and the man with the hook <laughs> has done me no harm and he's given me loads of people I can operate on. I'll, I'll say in response, I'll say, there's one and nothing big creature Mordred that has... needs lots of things <laughs> taken out of it. I know you like to do that. Very, very good. What's your view, Merida? Fine. Merida's very hesitant to aid the beast at this point of time because we, A, we don't know anything about it. B, while it is heavily sedated, we still don't know what damage it can do. Have you tried talking to it? Can I do a nature check on the on the crocodile? Yeah, yes, the crocodile is and heavily sedated. It's got some pipes coming out of it. Not the rock skin. You could, but, but we only are. Exactly. We've only it's ever a, been talking about more dudes. Don't more do us. Um, it's, but, you know, it looks very barely conscious. It doesn't want it to move over the whole set. The energy is just being pulled from it. Is it? Are we talking like we're on the bottom floor of the ship, right? Mm. So below us is. It's made of timber. Yeah. So if we were to like punch a hole at the bottom of the ship, would the crocodile just fall through into the ocean? It needed to be a bloody big hole, but yeah. Uh, in fact, looking, it looks like the bottom. You saw the bottom of the ship opened up to swallow your ship. It looks like the floor here does a similar thing. It, it just Can we look around to see if there's like dropped into the ocean? But it might die. Well, Meredith, crocodile. You, you know this thing is. Whether or not these can be killed, like it's a giant a crocodile, it and it can swim. Yeah. Yeah. Well, would you share that? Yeah. Okay. Can we can we search for a lever or something? Oh, yeah, uh, you find the lever. Yeah. <laughs> I will say I won't make you look for this. Um, people are gonna notice if you pull this lever. 
creatures that would be loud. Loud. Well, we should free the other creatures first. Are there... First to what end? Stuff yeah, there's little fairies did and things not there to torture. Did I go little trailing to what end in the immediate term? Do you speak out how I think you do. And then you've got fame rule about it. Yes. Do you common, speak I speak common fame the land. That's the... I'll put all your life. Lovely. That's yeah. good. That's what we'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Elementals. Elementals. Yeah. Elementals. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you can go up to speak with them. Yeah. Uh, you see there's a small cage with three little fairies, a blue one, green one, and an orange one. Um, while they're kind of discussing me, they're mm-hmm. stuff, the like, RGB yeah. fairies that yeah. came before... Um, I'll go up to them. <laughs> that came before I'll... HDMI. <laughs> I won't introduce myself, but I'll ask them how they got here. Like, and you see the, the orange one, the small thin, little clawed fingers, dragonfly like wings, feathers almost. Yeah, about yay big. Yeah. Um, and she says, well, We were taken from our homes in the night, and the pirates came with strange spells and powders that made us sleep and woke up in the morning. Um, do you know who shipped this? You know, there is a one-handed man who comes and steals from us. If we were to free you, where would you go? Away, north, okay. south, east, and west. If we were to free you right now, would you still be? Uh, no, did you, you said that if we free the creatures, we'd still have enough magical power to get to Cora? No, if you were, we have enough magical power for an hour. To save you. We could potentially land somewhere. I would say, no check flight again, you know that you're near ish to shore yeah. at this point. We're talking, like, uh, yeah, you're probably yeah. an hour, you're probably an hour and a few to shore. Because we could, we could uh, land near to the shore. But can we show it? Maybe we could catch a ride on the back of the big crocodiles. Well, what I was also <laughs> thinking of is maybe we can maybe time yeah, it the belly and see the crocodile the crocodile again. We can maybe time it and very it. slowly and trying to speak just so it's out of. Can I message into its head? Yeah. We should time it so that the shirt loses power as we're coming into port. We don't have that much time, though, don't we? Um, anyway, I'll message into its head and I'll say. Hi. They're great beasts. My name's Mordred. I'm here to help. We're here to help you. I'm going to pause you just there. I'm just conscious that it's ten past ten. Yeah. Do we want to wrap up now? Yeah, we'll wrap up. It's cool. We'll wrap up now. We'll resolve this. Sorry, guys. Really nice. okay, thank you. Don't need to think about it. We'll leave it there. Give the us time to come up with a, 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 a game plan. Crocodile. Um, you message it's ten, and I will let you know that you will respond. So you will get it. And it said help. No. No, it just made. Do we know at this point where Hook is? Presumably in his cabin, but you don't know for fact. And we know where that is in relation to this. You do need so, seven, uh, seven floors up on, on, like, on the deck of the deck of the ship. But it will be about it will be directly above this. Thank you. Thank you. You're very thank you for our cool business cards. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Very cool.